super stupid flow and you bitches can't tell them nothing ufo uniquely flying outstanding all i speak is cash i see why you don't understand ufo uniquely flying outstanding all i speak is cash i see why you don't understand me got a sense for drama so i always keep the cannon this is the invasion so watch out for our landing standing tall never too far spring and summer fashion bro i get it in the fall y'all about to start hating and i don't mind at all i'm a thriller like mj and my flow is off the wall who that who that Good. Everything's rolling. Right on. Can anybody hear us? Everybody got us? See? There you go. Yay. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so you're here with the Who That Podcast. Welcome to the Mothership Bitches. Um, another Sunday. Another Sunday on the ship. We've got uh, two guests here today. And we're down to Brandon today. He might pop up. I don't know. He went missing in action. Yeah, so... <laughs> If you've seen him, I'm putting a bolo out. I need to locate Brandon and make sure he's alive. I checked Mobile Patrol. I hit up a couple of friends. Damn, I went to Mobile Area Patrol. 51. I think that's where he went. <laughs> right, he right. Went there. Yeah. yeah, he disappeared to Area 51. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> that or he went to the uh, the Vatican. He was out looking for dead bodies. Yeah. Oh, man. So, um, um, so how was your week? It was great. How was yours? It was all right. It was, uh, it was eventful. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I know you have a few things you want to discuss. Oh my God. Yeah. So I got to talk about my Friday night. Um, so for those of you that are local, uh, you probably know that Jelly Roll performed Friday night and it was fucking tits. Like, <laughs> tits. it's great. It's tits. <laughs> um, but we had an unexpected surprise. So I went with my old man and we ended up finding out that another brother was there another one of his friends and when you say brother what does that mean for them um so we ride motorcycles and i'll let you put two and two together so they they call each other brothers gotcha okay um so he he gets phone call and he's like yeah man i'm gonna be there we pull up and park next to a car and it's another brother and i'm like oh shit it's like we're all here this is great 
Well, come to find out, all the old ladies bought their uh, their old men tickets for their birthdays. So we're all there celebrating each one of the old men's birthdays. Right. So they're like, just come around back. We're standing up on a do- on a uh, dock. Just come on, we got you. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. So we go up there. Then we find out that we're going to get bracelets and go backstage. Oh, nice, nice. So I was like, fuck yeah. Um, so Jelly comes out. We get to you know interact with him for a bit, and he goes back in. Struggle showed up, which is fucking awesome. Uh, then we ended up going and hanging out in front of the barricade on the side of the stage for the entire concert. I got to reach up and touch Jelly Roll's hand. <laughs> um, don't worry, I'm not crazy. I did wash my hands since, yeah. since Friday night. Right, okay. I thought, you, I, t- I thought that's what I was smelling earlier. Oh, 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 no. oh. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> so, uh, we get to watch the whole concert from the side of the stage. And then afterwards... He uh, goes around the other side, and we're all waiting. We end up going in this back room. We got pictures with him, got to talk to him. And then he let us come in the uh, private room. Right. So we are to take shots. And I want to say, don't quote me on it, but he, someone gave him like a $100,000 bottle of tequila. Oh, wow. And he's like, all right, so I'm pouring everybody shots. And he gets on Snapchat, and he's like, everybody in this room right now is fucking family. Love y'all. And I'm like, oh, this is so fucking cool nice so take shots and afterwards i did the math and i was like so i just took a three thousand three hundred and thirty three dollar shot and my old man doesn't drink so he like spit it out and i'm like oh no. wow oh no how to save that that's an investment right right right, right. <laughs> so um afterwards jelly's like we're all going to uh kid rocks bar up there right. and he's like i bought out the vip section he's like y'all all come out so we got to stay out and party with Jelly Roll all night. Nice, Rolled into nice. bed about 4 o'clock. I nice. bet you was nervous pouring wow. that because you know how much money. You was probably like, I don't want to waste it. I don't want to drip it. Yeah. Like, that <laughs> was don't like do so it. Right. It's like 20 bucks right there. Drop. Yeah. <laughs> Just drank a motorcycle pretty much. Yeah. yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Wow. wow. So um, the voices you hear real quick, go ahead and introduce you, yourselves. Go ahead and I am Teresa Nolan. I'm with Dark Slate Promotions. I'm a local promoter here in Tennessee. Okay. I am Benjamin, a.k.a. Ben So Crazy, a.k.a. Mr. Benjamin. If you listen to hip-hop in the Murray County, we're really middle Tennessee area. Uh, go to Facebook, type in Ben So Crazy, or uh, catch my videos. They've been getting a little bit of buzz lately. Yeah. Appreciate the support. Yeah, right for on. sure, man. For sure. All local talent, man. Anybody we can get in here that's trying to do something different and, you know, do a little bit more than clock in a nine to five. I support that shit, man. Ugh. Yeah, so nobody want to do you that. Shit. Started on that, right, right, <laughs> right. So, um, the story I have for today. Let me let me pull it up real quick. Have you guys heard about the uh, the kill dozer? Uh-uh. No. Oh no, my goodness. Knows. So, hold on. Let me see if I can find it here. Saved. Well, and after this, don't forget, you got to tell the story about um, them finding that dead body behind the cooler. Oh, yes. Okay. I, I think I know years? that story. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I heard about that. that. Yo, let's, you want to start with that? How do you know that smell for 10? I mean, sure. Yeah. That was my exact thought. How do you not smell a decaying body for 10 fucking years? That's I came up with a logic, freezer. though. Think about it. That's right. It was Did behind freezer, something cold. The smell, but, maybe? No. It, so that was my thought process, too. Like, okay, well, you know, it's cold. I'm sure it slowed it down. But have you ever stood behind, like, a vending machine, a refrigerator, a cooler? It gets hot. Yes. It blows out from underneath. True. So, mm, right. no, if anything, it would have sped it up. Right. It would have been um, warm back there. It would have been real warm, y'all. So... I don't, I don't know. So, all right, let's 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 let the viewers know why we're just sitting here talking about it. So, apparently, a... Was it a grocery store? Yeah, it was a grocery store. Right. right. It was a convenience store? store. Was it a convenience store? Well, I don't know. same difference. Yeah, pretty much. So, they they were deconstructing. Were they moving? It Was that the case? And they moved the cooler. Yes. And a man that had been missing for 10 years mm-hmm. was found dead. Now, the way the story goes... Did he work for him? Yes. That place. Yeah. yeah, and it came oh. up. Yeah. Yeah. So the way the story goes is that they used to go on top of the cooler to like take unscheduled breaks to get away from like uh, probably smokes. 
did yeah. bad uh, stuff that I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so they go up there and they hide out from their boss and all that shit. Well, apparently he had gotten, what did he get into it with? His mom? Or? Yeah, I want to say it was his parents. Yeah, and he, he ran off in anger to work and he went up there to hide out and he fell between, what was it, an 18 inch crevice? Between yeah. the wall? Yeah. Something like that. And he got stuck and he died there. And he sat there for 10 years dead, you know? So they get ready to deconstruct a the place. They move the cooler and bam, there's his body. You know, I, he's probably thinking at that time he might be in, not dead yet. Yeah. Thinking, you know, I wish at that time I was overweight because then I wouldn't fit right. down there. Yeah, and right. I wouldn't be That's stuck and thinking. we're in the situation that I'm in. I, oh, I should have ate that burrito. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> so, well, and I mean, and I can't remember. It was still open when he ran off to work, right? So, I mean, Nobody at what noticed. point? Yeah, Nobody exactly. Heard what him point where the common sense yeah. kicks in? He knock yourself out, right? For ten years. Yeah. You know? So none of the other employees like look between there. Like somebody's got to have yeah, dropped. Yeah. If that if that was their scheduled place to skip work. Exactly. You're telling me nobody went up there and was like, oh, shit. Maybe they thought the smell was a dead critter and they uh, just didn't just go got used to the smell. Well, yeah. I mean, that. Who's cleaning the place or not cleaning the place? <laughs> right. There you go. It was not cleaning. There's always that one crack nobody ever swept for a reason. <laughs> Consuela, did you see that body back there? No, no. No, no, yeah. no, no body. <laughs> yeah, no, no, body. no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. So, um, but yeah. ways to die. See, I didn't know all that <laughs> stuff you just said. I didn't read into it. So I didn't know all that to fight the parents. Yeah, yeah. You, you're yeah. a headline reader. You don't read the hard Well, I, you know, sometimes I, I'm too busy to read fully yeah, things. No. I get impatient when it's a story. And no, if it gets boring, or to I, I got to keep going. Now, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got other things I got to do. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. It's Brandon. He's calling oh. in the middle of the live stream. Oh. Hello, Brandon. You just woke up. Mm. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. So hold on, wait, wait. We'll put yeah. you on speakerphone. Say that again. I just woke up. <laughs> you on live right now, telling us you just woke up. So are you are you coming out or what you gonna do? Yeah, I could. You want to be cool? I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that I want you to come. The fans expect you. Your guests do expect you. Well, I'm glad you know what he just said because I did not catch that at all. I admit yawn. You don't speak yawn? <laughs> No, I don't. That's oh, not a language man. I learned. Yeah. I didn't do that in school. Right. That was not under my curriculum. I was speaking sleep back in the days. Kind of like algebra. I don't use that shit now. Yeah. I even went to college and had to take it, and I still don't use that shit. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know. Right, right. <laughs> so, okay. I think I just closed out the kill dozer. Okay. June 4th of 2018 marks the 14th anniversary of the Killdozers Rampage through, is it Granby, Colorado? G-R-A-N-B-Y, Granby? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, basically, it was this guy was Marvin uh, Hemeyer. And I'm just, I'm not going to read it word for word for the article. But basically, uh, they put a, con they were going to build and construct a concrete factory next to his um next to his muffler shop and construction interfered with the uh, i think it interfered with the entryway and stuff mm -hmm. so he wasn't going to be able to get access from the road nobody could pull in so he went to the city he tried to appeal things they shot him down they the city fined him at one point for something that the concrete factory had did in the construction yeah, I guess, I don't know, something like that. And then um, he he had bought the dozer because he was going to build his own entry to his to his establishment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they sh the city shot him down for that, too. <laughs> so they left him high and dry. So he took this dozer and he reinforced it with all this steel around the windows. It's a true story, man. And he took bulletproof glass and he put it in the slot so he could see. Oh no! And he I know took where this is going. <laughs> yes, he took this bulldozer uh -uh. and he drove it through the concrete factory, <laughs> took it down. He took down uh, city official buildings, and I think total it was fourteen buildings he took down. Wow! And they didn't even stop him. He got stuck and killed himself oh. in the thing. Yes. What did it flip? I mean, how did he? 
I mean, he's been crashing through 14 buildings. So. <laughs> yeah, it's down I don't to know. Break down, but man, that's yeah, that's a hell of a run. Like that it guy is. years ago, it was a different state. Um, he got into a tank. The battle that's, tank. That's yeah, went through town and running over cars. Yeah, I remember that? I think uh, you can YouTube that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it. they've got the whole video on yeah. there. So yeah. and they're like, people's like, why don't you stop them? They're like, how can you stop a tank? I mean, right. I mean, you know, airstrike. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, well, the care I mean, package on that. Pull them over here <laughs> with a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Right. Better start respecting small businesses. Right, man. But, you know. Respect the little man. For, like, for me, I've had a small business before, and I've been heckled several times mm-hmm. by the city. And it becomes a headache because, like, for it's my all business. Game, I think, sometimes. Oh, for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Especially if you buy a building from up under them. That was the thing. We bought a building that they wanted. Mm hmm. So at one point in time, they were telling us that we needed to have sprinklers in this building, but then the uh, the the main water line to the road was out of code. Mm-hmm. So for that, for us to put the sprinklers to be in code, we had to replace the thing under the road. Of course, because the and pipes were so old. Right? Yes, yeah. the whole project was going to be seven hundred thousand mm-hmm. oh dollars. Nothing God. surely you could afford, but only the city. Sell a kidney, right? Sense. Right? Right? Well, here's my thing: if they're out of code, that's the city's problem right so the city should have done it well right. after so much after your property to whatever it's city it is city's responsibility and then to a certain to up to your doorstep it's yours right so yeah you're right i well, agree with her it should have been their thing to what they told us place. the knowledge is power he they're they're banking on the fact that he didn't know that right well so. here's no 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 we ran with this okay, okay? And They're what, supposed to disclose that though when you buy a property. It's right. Supposed to, you know. So what they told us, this is what they told us, that Hampshire Pike was a state road, not a city road, hmm. and then we'd have to take it to the state level. Oh, if it's in city it. limits, that's yeah. that's what the heck? not true. Uh, well, I mean, that's just what they told us, you know. Because I didn't think you were smart enough to know better. That's probably right, what it was. Right. And you was. <laughs> right. We just, I mean, really, we just operated the business. We were just like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And just ran with that shit. So, it is what it is. But, yeah, that's that's the Killdozer story, y'all. So. Lessons of life. <laughs> you learn as you go. So, which one of you guys are on the time frame? Who's on the time frame? I, I got two that. cats waiting for me, and they already been fed. They're good. A lot of pussy. Uh, I know. Man. <laughs> and my daughter, she went to this. Um, it's the bridge. She's fifteen. My youngest one. Okay. She went to uh, Bridgestone. What would you do, or what some boy band? I don't know. They're playing what? at Bridgestone tonight. Huh. What would you do, or what are I don't you? Know, but I'm you? going to look it up. Boy band stuff. <laughs> I, I got to put. I probably said it wrong but they're playing at bridgestone tonight so that's where she's at yeah seeing a concert but she's never been in bridgestone and only a few venues that's all ages that i could take her to to my shows i took her right right um when um what was it the last thing is at the fairgrounds um oh my god i just drew a blank her first show that i took her to was that big festival they have every year the um I forgot what that was on the thing. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't yeah, I know. think I need to change hair colors with you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, it's, you know, all that 17 years of blondness has warped my brain. Right? Uh-oh. It uh, all soaked in. The warp tour. Yeah, the warp tour. Oh, the warp your brain, Nashville. warp yeah. tour? It yeah. came all to you right at once. So, <laughs> you know, I, I took her there, and that was her first time, and being backstage and seeing her band. So, right. Bridgestone's her first night going to a big place like that. Oh, that's cool. I was just telling her to be careful. Are you, you know? sure it's Bridgestone? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. So Ben, um, we'll start with you. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So <laughs> right. Oh, right. So our first, first guest today is uh it's a guy I've known for a little bit. I've uh I've shot a music videos with him in it. I have um I did documentary where he was in that. Um man, where does the time go? Right. Which is was this been over ten years ago. I know, right? Yeah. Oof. Are you telling us your age now? Oh, right. everybody knows I'm old. I'm the well, oldest thing on this show. I'm probably older than all y'all sitting in this room. Uh, but it's okay. I hold it well. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Ben does comedy now. He does sketch comedy. And I wanted him to come on here today and kind of tell us a little bit about 
you know, what's that like and and his creative process and, and where it's headed, <laughs> you know what I mean? So my creative pro- what's it like? It's actually uh it's fun. Uh I believe laughter is like good for the soul. I right. like to, I've always had a gift of making people laugh. That ain't nothing new. But uh I'd watch you know, coming up watching Def Comedy Jam and different people Martin Fresh Prince of Bel Air shows we all watch and uh, yeah, making that. people laugh I Such love of course Chappelle show I mean right, who didn't right, watch right. that then a little bit of Key and Peele and I'd watch certain people even stand up comedians or certain skits and I'd think to myself like man people are really some of them were good you know the classics we all remember but then some of them you're like in my head I'm like man I, love smart, I could do know, that <laughs> Shoot. Right. I could think of I've said funnier stuff in casual conversation than some of these videos are getting 20 million views and all this stuff so you know after a while you know talking became one thing but doing became another so you know i just had a camera one day and just put thought into motion and a lot of my videos i mean i don't really sit down oh he got me on the camera hello world <laughs> i don't really uh sit down or anything You're with a team uh-huh, uh, usually it's my guy uh shout out to charles genesis right out uh, there genesis doing his thing um Sometimes me and him sit down and collab, uh, you know, I get with him over my production and editing and stuff like that. But a lot of times it's just me sitting at the house and I might wake up one morning and uh, bam, you know, like a skit I had about a month ago is about the refrigerator skit. With, I remember You that. get that dry ass refrigerator that we all go to and you know, you know, damn well it ain't nothing in that thing. But you're going to open that door back up within 10 minutes thinking you missed something because you're just that hungry. But I woke up one morning in that mood and I was like, you know what, I should record this. Next right. thing you know. I don't know. I think I got like 6,000 views on that. Then the most recent one, uh, what, I, what was the title of that one? Um, you Can't Just Sell to Anybody. Uh-huh. That just randomly popped in my head. Some guy who didn't know how to buy drugs, oh, yeah. seeing, a, <laughs> seeing a brother on the street just rolling up on him talking about, I want to buy a drug. I'm like, what? Yeah. You know, the, the whole process, it just, it just... It just didn't go down right, so I think that's what made it funny. So right, right, yeah, right. I'm getting a lot of love off of that. It so. was a virgin beginner of drug buying. Yeah, he was right. definitely a beginner. Uh, yeah, it, it was suspect from start to finish. So right, yeah, and that's why I could never be a drug dealer. Like I could never deal with like that and the paranoia. That yes, that <laughs> and then the idea junkies hit you up all day. Oh yeah, all day, all day. And, and it, I just couldn't deal with that. I couldn't the deal worst with, times. <laughs> yeah, I'm you like have an undercover shops thing where you have an open and close setting times. <laughs> right. And, but I mean, that's just what they do, though. They just, hey, do you get this? Hey, do you get this? Hey, you get that yet? Yeah. Hey, can you meet me? Hey, can, can I get yeah, it for you? Got a family barbecue. Yeah. And they just pull up. Who's this in the car pulling up? Why are they asking for you? Right. Uh, you know. <laughs> so, don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. So, I just can't even. I can't even imagine having a. Just around the clock. That's my that's my source of income. You know what I'm nah, saying? I have I have a little small drug deal in a story. My brief uh, my brief time as a drug dealer lasted about a good two weeks. I, I was I was making a little something something selling right. some weed. I had you, you know pro, ain't you? I, I had a, I had a good Ziploc bag full of weed, and uh, it was last period in class, and uh, the sheriff came in there, which I wasn't worried about. He always visits. But the kids were like, "Hey, do you have the dog? I don't know the dog's name. Let's call him Bucky. Hey, is Bucky out there in the car?" Yeah, you want to see him? Yeah, we'll go get Bucky. And I'm sitting there like, holy shit. They finna go bring the drug dog in here. Oh, my God. And I'm sitting there with a whole notebook full of weed. You know what I'm saying? And I asked the teacher. I was like, I got to go to the bathroom real quick if you don't mind. And luckily, she let me go. I took my book. She didn't even ask me that, why I took the book. But I stuffed it. I went in the bathroom, and I stuffed it up in uh, the ceiling. Right. Little lift-up ceilings we had, whatever you call them. Yeah, it's probably ceiling. still sitting there to this day. They ain't done no renovations. Yeah. It's sitting there to this day. And I came back to class with the book and the dog came to me barking and deputy brought me out in the hall saying you know it's something you gotta confess no something's wrong with your dog so right. i'm sorry something's wrong with your dog but yeah. he couldn't prove it your but he knew but he couldn't today. prove it so yeah i i started and i retired after that so yeah thank goodness <laughs> they i mean you know I, I will say this about me a little background of me i grew up you know here i'm from nashville and a lot of my family are you know um Fairview oriented and you know they smoke weed it was a weed smoking family my granny my nanny smoked weed with my friends from high school after school they would go and I, I, that was never nothing I liked I never smoked cigarettes I never cared for smoke it was just never nothing I, I cared for so right but I, I've seen all that you know just think about this 
little me, first grandbaby born, right. run around the house with all my uncles smoking weed. You know I had a contact high for a while. <laughs> yeah. never, that's just the way of life kid. for you. <laughs> right, right. And I never knew what was going on, but hey. Yeah. And they miss why I don't like it. I don't know. I got immune to it. So you don't smoke cigarettes? No, I Do don't. Do you drink? Mm, yeah. Okay, you drink. Okay. Yeah, I like my red wine and... Oh, you're classy. Right. Well, your life. Beard now, it's got to where it's just not like you used to. I used to be a big old Miller Lite drinker. Mm-hmm. But when it's, when you start seeing your belly expand, you're like, oh, whoa. <laughs> Something's got to give. Oh. Well, let, let, me, let me go down some red wine. It's good for you that I can, that I can drink. Yeah, where is the wine now? Why ain't we got any? Why you want wine? Got... I don't have red wine. Would you like a glass of, of white wine? You're white wine. wine. Yeah. Good stuff. White wine. You said good stuff. It's a good stuff. Yeah. They say it's it makes Chardonnay. you live longer. Yeah. So they say. It's, it's red. Glass of wine a day. You. Is it red? red. Yeah, red wine. Oh, red is me. good for your oh, blood. Oh, for your okay. Health. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. equivalent. They say it's equivalent of doing cardio in a gym, one glass a day. If oh, you yeah? get the darkest yes. wine, the darker, the better. That's like Merlot's yeah. is the better. For so your if I drink a whole bottle, does that count as like a week's worth of cardio? Uh, well, you'll be know, called for the week. I don't think you're going to get any. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so you'll have to skip like three days, but you'll be good. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get any good. abs or anything off the wine. No, no that's the difference. No, 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 other no, than no that, but it'll you know, make me feel like I got abs. Hey, there you this go. is what you get, though. You get this, and you get the muscles. There right? you go. Pumping it up. <laughs> no, lifting. Repetition. So you're actually exercising. Hey, look, I have a, a big glass that holds an entire bottle. Get out. Yeah. I need one of them. They also make straws that are you can put in the bottle. Oh, nice. That you are long glasses enough to like reach out. Drink out of a straw. <laughs> like Lil John, these type boys right? that big-ass glass. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I've got, in one of my documentaries, I've got a dude filling up, and he took like a, he took the, the whole bottle. It took the whole bottle like it was nothing, and he filled up the glass. Hey, I can nice. drink the whole bottle by yeah. myself. No. I mean, I'm not an alcoholic. Black guy, I'm oh, a yeah, bottle. yeah. A bottle of wine, yeah, that'll go quick. So. Now, it's not you know not none big old ones like this champagne giant ones yeah. I can't do that I thought he'd... oh no I'd done that in like a heartbeat what <laughs> <laughs> she's a drinker well you yeah. know I'm a bartender during the day so you know I, whenever y'all want to I can hook some stuff yeah, up I'm a lightweight my daughter probably out drank me and she's 14 so uh, you know, <laughs> I had a drink till I was 26 I can't build up tolerance to save my life one angry orchard two in the room spinning. That's no, do you joke. Know, um, no joke. Do you know when I don't know. guys come to my bar and they wear know. anger <laughs> orchard? Do you know what I tell them? Would you like to have an umbrella with that, sir? Uh, <laughs> basically, uh, it is what it is. I get teased a lot. I love pina coladas. They, that was my gateway drink to, to me drinking. Way so. too sweet. There's a gateway drink? That was my gateway drink. That's oh, what okay. I was saying. I, was say, I um, wouldn't even drink on New Year's. When they passed me the champagne, I was like, nope. Oh, don't no, do that. I like some mimosas I don't do that. and some champagne. You can go and bring it. It, all, it was all strong to me. That was before I found Why out you could you mix stuff together. Like, I, I used to drink <laughs> everything straight. And I'm like, who could drink this stuff just straight up? And you started mixing. I'm like, oh, the way, so I'm gotcha. So then I started with sex on the beaches and stuff. Now I drink anything. So so you really do need swirly straws and an umbrella. All right. You know what, though? I'm, I, it's nothing I'm proud of. I'm not going <laughs> to shit on anybody for what they drink. Five That's dollars. a real man's drink. $5 man. will get me there. I bet you wear pink shirts, too, right? I wear pink shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Ma'am, yes, I do. <laughs> Yeah. So, like, I'm not going to shit on anybody for what they drink because, to me, like, people who shit on I'm people for what they up. drink and people who shit on people for what they, the music they listen to, yeah, oh that God. shows you are immature as fuck. Yeah. Like, if yeah. I'm paying for my drink, I'm going to drink what the fuck I want to and yeah, how the right. fuck I want to drink it. And, uh, you know, that's that's how I do. You know, you just said something that brought up. I had a band at a venue. I'm not going to mention the venue or the, or the band because people no mean can put two two together yeah but the bartender was mocking the band because he didn't like them what the band caught on you don't do that yeah you know if i'm bringing you business on the same bringing that bar money i don't care if you like what i bring to you but if it's packing your place and spending that bar money don't show you don't like the music you got to suck it up and just yeah. Work. Yeah. But especially if these people so are giving tips and stuff. Like, that's your livelihood. You don't fuck your livelihood. Oh, right. I know. I'm a bartender, honey. I believe me. <laughs> believe me. You take care of people who take care of you. Exactly. And, you know, if you can't tip 20% or more, do not come out to eat. Don't come at my mm. bar. Don't do not do it. You know, because we, that's what we love. Two thirteen an hour, your tax is up. It takes it all. I don't even see a check. Right. I've never seen a check in the whole year I've been there. Right. Never. Mm. 
So I'll yeah. live off tips alone. Right. I really do. So, so hey guys, y'all tip everybody. I tip well for all the years I didn't tip well. All right. You <laughs> try to make up for the yeah, years I where I didn't know any better. Well, you're more <laughs> you're mature and you know now. Yeah. You know, then you know, young people don't like teenagers come in there like eighteen year olds and they or they don't leave you but a dollar on a forty dollar tab or something mm. like that because they don't know no better. They never worked. You right. Know, things right. like that. So. So let's reel this back in here for just a second, and um, Ben, let's get back on topic about what you're doing. So, what, what's the future of Ben So Crazy? I ask people this all the time. I want to hear where you're gonna take it. Where we what's headed. the future of Ben So Crazy? Um, I like his Facebook page. Thank you. Uh, the future is, you know, honestly, the goal is to get more subscribers, more people out there, more friends to comment, like, and share. I always say that in my videos. I can be as funny as I want to be, but if you ain't commenting, liking, and sharing, I mean, who's really going to know? Um, the goal is really to get, I want to get a million subscribers at some point. Right. I'm trying to, I'm not going to lie, I'm trying to make money off of it. Man, I'll help you with that. Screw a nine to five. You know, I I could do this in my sleep. It comes natural. I probably got another 20 videos already written down. I just got to do it. Time management. I'm a hard ass worker outside of doing that. So on top of being a father, managing all that. But I do have a week off, so I'm going to do a lot of that this week. Cool, so, cool. Ooh, yeah, the goal, off. basically, and I'm not crying. The fan is just making me. <laughs> He's so passionate about it. He loves <laughs> it. He loves what he does. Uh, now nah, it's uh, ringing. You should just um, get out there, you know. That's I'll be right back. I get to turn my volume down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, make the world laugh. But it's, it's cool, though. I've, I, mean, I looked at my comments. I looked at people that shared my stuff all the way in Brazil and London and China. And I'm like, dude, wow, dude, I'm not even not? like some big dude, you know like known but you know it just shows how we're all connected with social media now if i can make people laugh over there and it's that's satisfying enough in itself so if i never i ain't gonna i'm gonna I'm a speak positive in the air i ain't gonna say i'm never gonna do nothing right once i make it to where i need to be uh you know i ain't gonna forget that type of stuff I'll right take satisfaction in that alone right so, i apologize yeah. to everybody who's watching <laughs> so uh, are you gonna come on here? We do skits, you know, before every episode. Oh Lord! I want you to come on. I want you to reprise the role. Go ahead and do. You want to be on the cast? I can bless you with a, a skit or two. I would love man. to listen to some of your stuff. Oh, no, thank yeah. you. I think it'd be I, awesome. I'll do a little something, something for you. Okay. We would good. be so honored. You know, that's the least I could do for my loyal subjects. Right, right. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, have you thought about doing acting at all? Like, you know what? It's, it's funny because I had the lead role in high school. Uh, that was my passion. I went to New York. I was gonna go to acting school. Made a dumbass life choice, and uh, that didn't go according to plan. But acting, honestly, I feel like out of besides the music, that's probably what I do best. Yeah. I think I'm a really good actor. I would love to wake up every day and do that. Or even be a voice actor I, that's a great job i think well that's Just, what we get in our God, skits that's is easy. Voice that's acting. easy yeah. i could do that in my sleep i seen a uh, there was an ad that popped up on facebook looking for voice actors and i oh, yeah? it. all i did was drop the uh drop the who that link i was like here you go here's yeah. all the voice actors you need right, right. here i got like six or no how many cast members it's us three then jeff brian, brian dylan, dylan. Yeah, that's six yeah can oh me. and um <laughs> Huh? You can recruit me. I'll come too. Yeah. I'll hang out. And I've I've never I don't think I've got to meet uh, Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. He records on different days because he he does stuff on Sundays and stuff. Oh uh, right well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta accommodate some of these people, but you know we don't have a budget, so you know we're just at the. It's business. Yeah. Speaking of not having a budget. If you guys notice, there's a donate donate uh, link on the description. Um, we just need some funding, man. Keep this ball rolling. Keep the show getting better. We're going to get new cameras for a clear image. We're going to um, gonna get a mobile board at some point so we can start going places and just recording directly to the board, eliminate the computer at times. So if you click the link, it's legitimate. It's not a scam. Nobody's going to steal your stuff. But it should look something like that. And you just put your information in and hit tip. We consider them tips. They're like, you want donations? No, we're not a nonprofit. We want a tip. People who know me, I trust them. They, he's legit. Yeah. Donate, 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 donate. Right, right. Any I know where he lives. He's not screwing you over. Right. <laughs> well, you know, it, I tell you, it costs probably, I probably shouldn't say this, but it costs probably $160 a year 
to run the podcast. And that's not terrible. That's not a terrible price. And um but that doesn't include equipment. That that's doesn't include awesome. yeah, all the all the ins and outs and things people love, all the little like, you know, the apps I can put into the broadcast to make it more interactive. So yeah. Donate. New programs you can download and things like that. Right. That you can, yeah. Right. So and then eventually when we you know, we're gonna get more and more guests. I'm gonna run out of people local. I'm gonna have to get people to come in, you know? I can do it. Yeah. So that would uh that'd be real uh appreciative if you hit the donate button. Say something, get them to donate. Donate. I'm not gonna show you my tits, but it's we'll give you free hugs. <laughs> yeah, we ain't doing no We'll no, do no. free hugs. Free hugs. Free hugs. <laughs> I don't like people, but I'll give you like a fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> so we're also gonna have merchandise soon too. We're gonna have shirts and stuff. They're gonna be super dope. We own a tank top. Tank top. Yes. Okay. I'll sport it everywhere. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, when you wanna come in and record, Ben? Hey, man, no pressure. Hello. Uh, <laughs> it don't matter to me, man. It could be same time next week for all I care. We're going to make it work. No, you give me a date and a target, and we'll make it happen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I think the role I'm going to have you do, and this is so funny because we just talked about this, is the character, Brandon's character, he gets weed from Jupiter. It's a sci-fi oh. adventure. So he's got a dealer he hadn't been able to get in touch with so i might have Jupiter. you like roll up yeah because the weed on saturn is really bad i thought the cali weed was good you going off this world saturn right? yeah. is where my my old man's from oh ah, okay and they always bash because they've got bad weed oh. yeah hey but in this use your acting skills take your two weeks of mm-hmm. drug dealing oh. <laughs> i need you to channel your inner <laughs> high school drug dealer yeah, i'll, I'll yes. channel that guy right and, uh, I'll, I'll bring him back to the forefront right right skit. i can do that right definitely so uh i want to come on i want to do some acting with you though i want to come on your show oh you definitely can i'm always i definitely need more people yeah i don't lie i need definitely females i got all kind of ideas that require hello. a female. <laughs> she I might said have found hello, hello. hello. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, yeah, right. How you doing? So yeah, we can definitely uh, collaborate. Yeah, I'm all about it, man. So I'm hoping that maybe one day all the skits we can put them together, like the skits from our show, mm-hmm. and uh, get somebody to animate it. I never have any intention on doing any live action for this show. Yeah, but I'd love for somebody to come like. Cartoon animated. That would be awesome. Wouldn't it? Yeah. So. Make cartoon characters. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. So. Um, so what was your your inspiration for this? You just woke up one day? Life? Life <laughs> I yeah. mean, I know some comedians, they just read the newspaper and just find something funny to just talk about. I have so many just life experiences in general. It would be uh, it'd be a crying shame for me to go to my grave and not try to share some of these things. Almost everything I do in my comedy pretty much probably has happened or I've seen it happen in some form or some way. It ain't Boy. like it's just some random stuff. So I have got a story for your ass. Oh God. I just <laughs> something we need to talk about. So what about So I had a friend crash over here and they, they called me up there like, Hey, you know, I need a I need a place to crash. I was like, all right, that's fine. You know, it wasn't like an overnight stay, but it was somebody that just needed to crash. They were fucked up. They had a bad situation, I guess. I don't know. So, talking about people that just randomly taking pills and shit like that. You know, I'm a diabetic, right? Oh. oh. So, like, this person, <laughs> this person wakes up. I'm like, oh, I just, I don't feel good. I'm like, what's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. We went outside, smoked a cigarette, you know. Then they were like, oh, I just, oh, I feel so hot. I don't know what's going on with me. And da 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 da. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I'm like, you right. got to throw up? What's going on? Call 911. Right. No, no, I don't think they were there. I wasn't <laughs> calling 911. So, but, uh, so then they passed back out. And then they woke back. There they go now. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Police, yeah. police come quick. <laughs> Banging no, they'll the be banging harder than that. So it's Popo. <laughs> hey, look, as a heads up, if anybody ever Just needs 911 attention here, I'm throwing your ass on the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so, look at banging like the police. <laughs> look, I took your chair and I'm not moving. Uh, dang. 
And I used your headphones. Yeah, so. Angry with you. Are you angry with me? We're going to have to let you in this studio seat for we a minute. Fried chicken push and we're going to bring you back. Okay. I was about All to right. say, if I have to sacrifice yeah. mine, you know, I have to keep the lady <laughs> out. I mean, it doesn't really, I'm trying to be chivalry, but yeah. you know, chivalrous. So, okay. How you doing? <laughs> Brandon, you're in the zebra chair today. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, listen, listen, listen. So, they pass back out, right? And then, I guess in the midst of, like, talking in their sleep, waking up, kind of, I was like, are you feeling all right? And they were like, uh, I, I took one of them pills. <laughs> I said, you took one of what pills? Oh. This fool then took a glucose, a thousand milligram glucose pill. Just a thousand? <laughs> Not even a diabetic. Do you know, <laughs> if you took two of them, that would have killed your yeah. ass? Wow. Yes. You had a whole body up in here. I don't know if they thought it was gabapentin or what they thought that was, but they took it on the humbug. Didn't ask, didn't say nothing. Just, just thought they pills. was going to sneak a old better. pill in. Sneak a no. old pill. Yes. <laughs> and so, yeah, bro. They was trying to get a one-way ticket to the upper room. Yes, yes. Hey, you don't have to sit. You can sit on the couch if you like. Is she like? I know you bit or bite, so I'll just... Oh. It's the Lord's Day. I don't bite today. Right. <laughs> Midnight. I bite. When Midnight just kicks today, in. Right. Just today. Just today. Midnight kicks in. You know, right, it's like right, Thriller right, up right. in here. So, okay. It's like getting a gremlin wet. Yes. <laughs> Gizmo. How you doing, Brandon? I'm good, man. I'm blessed, bro. It's, blessed. Bring the mic a little bit close to you. You know, that one's kind of low. All right. I'm blessed, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here, though. Yeah. That is good. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There's some good sleep going on. That's <laughs> good ass sleep, man. Yeah, yeah. like just go. it was the type of sleep before I even opened my eyes. I knew it was like I, I, I slept way too long. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, there's no way. I you need to sleep. just text me you like taking a nap, nigga. I will show up at your house, bang on it that door. It was two o'clock. Mm-hmm. I, I figured out like there's no way I'm gonna oversleep. Shit. Four thirty, two and a half hours will be fine. Three Brandon, hours have later. You met <laughs> <yourself>? <laughs> I, I had more confidence in me. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's toot number? I'm going to start calling. <laughs> or oh, your mama. Was your mama there? Nope. Oh, nobody was there? Nope. Oh, you just had some good ass sleep. Man, man. good ass sleep. Yeah, quiet as hell. Bruh. Ain't nobody tiptoeing through the house or nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. So. See, now, you, now you see what, what my predicament uh, Yeah, I said, man, this nigga, he got no call, no show on it. You can't no call, no show on your own show. That's <laughs> bullshit for you. Yeah, it's, uh, but it's all right, though. Yeah. It's okay. So, uh, we're mid interviewing um, Ben, Ben So Crazy. That's ben his, So Crazy. That's his uh, his skit. He does sketch comedy. It's my comedy page. If you ain't checked it out by now, you're missing out, brother. Yeah. <laughs> But what, we're need at, you to uh, type Facebook? that in. All one word. Been so crazy. Is it? Where, where all can we find that? that that's something. I mean, actually, it's, I got an Instagram page. Got a YouTube page. Really need to get that YouTube page popping. I got to work on that. But all the videos are on that. Instagram, YouTube. You on Facebook? Facebook. Yeah. Uh, most of my views are on Facebook. So just type it in there and pick a video. It don't matter which one. Okay. So. Hold on. Can you like tell it. us about like a skit you've got going on? Something. Like right now, Not yeah. Like right work, now, but work, like an one, idea one of them that's already sharing. Like, maybe are you booking yourself anymore? Some like booking? I don't know. Like some little clubs or videos? you know, I would like to do an open mic night one to some place that just for a little fun. warm up to see what I can do. I'm Go fairly confident I could. Uh, so that's my thing. I gotta. I just gotta get somebody who knows the info to know where to go. So I just gotta branch out there and know where oh, to go. Gosh. Just point me in the right direction. I'll, I'll fly there. But. Okay. Um, I got a video coming up. It should be done tomorrow. It's about me expressing my love for pizza rolls. So, pizza rolls. I love them. <laughs> oh, God, I love them. You can't go wrong with them. But I have a love-hate relationship with them because as soon as they come out of the microwave, like I need it right now. But then I bite into it. I mean, I it. guess. I really don't. See, it's a, it's a music video. I really don't. I don't like to microwave it. It comes out too soft on the microwave. I like to just... I got a conventional oven that thing, so it'd be kind of crispy. Oh. Extra hot. You know, like lava hot, but microwave mm-hmm. teach their own i don't i don't microwave you know what i don't microwave leftover pizza desperate. i don't microwave. i do i just like splash some water on it put some water put some water, water on it you water. can't put it in there dry you got to throw a little put water on there put some water on it don't put water on it, water water on it. take a wet paper towel and lay it over well, it's not like i'm dipping it in the water it's just a little splash just, just okay a, but this like is even baptism. distribution i do i, <laughs> I just splash it I equally distribute. No. 
the water. <laughs> you no. think I'm just dipping the tip of the piece in there and throw it in the, uh, in the microwave? No. God. But, I don't know. I don't, I don't throw it in there dry. At least you're on the same level as far as putting some water on Look, he tried to heat pizza up for me one day, and I was like, I just eat it cold. And he's like, no, nah, let me put it in here. And I was like, no, nah, I just mm-hmm. eat it so cold. Yeah, it's going to make it more too. dry. It has to have moisture. Uh, yeah. yeah, man. I, I like mine like a snap, like a cracker almost. I put it in the oven, put it on broil a little bit. It's oh, fire. it's crispy, crispy. Oh, yeah, I like extra, that. That's yeah. good. He oh, he has had my like you've tasted the pizza roll. The no, the, just the pizza, oh, the, the leftovers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's when I bring that shit back to life, I'm, it's like resurrecting the dead, bro. Oh, okay, <laughs> it's <laughs> an art to that <laughs> shit. Hey, I ain't gonna knock it till I try it. Yeah, it's, so, it's an art to that shit. I'll broil so, it one good time and see how it goes. Right, so, right, right. Pizza potato chips. Okay. That's nice so much shit. Hey, Brandon, we got a donate link too. We got donate. For, yeah. so we can get the van. No, no, just money. Just any money towards the podcast, man. Because we're trying to get a Volkswagen band. Yeah, that's man. true. Hit, the, hit this road. So. Man, we're trying to get the podcast on the road. So we want to get us a Volkswagen van because they're coming out with with the with the self driving and it's self driving. Yeah, what? come on, people, we, we we do have goals. Yeah, so we want we that Skynet goals. van. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. Help really us bring is. you bring you uh, the the best podcast ever by being out. On the road, being able to go to festivals, set up, go to Comic Cons and, yeah. and conventions live from the bus. Help Brandon be able to smoke like like Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, I see you. Did you say you got to do it in the oven? Yes, I was going to say But which that. oven? Are you talking about conventional oven? Or are you talking about like... Man, pizza I'm microwaving that yeah. thing. Conventional oven. I'm a 90s baby and I don't have But time. Crystal, you get fancy you with your stuff, okay? Oh, you and I have yeah. cooked together. Who is Crystal. Crystal's my girl. I love Crystal. Shout out to Crystal. Yeah, shout out to you, she Crystal. Fancy? I, she fancy? I like to think she's fancy. Is she fancy? She's fancy to me. <laughs> okay. Like she's fancy. Shout out to Crystal. She's she fancy, sound, y'all. She sound like she's fancy. <laughs> Look, I'm a 90s baby. I ain't got the same kind of patience. I, uh, my whole generation got ADHD. I'm microwaving it. Mm. And, I, and then what you do is you microwave it too high to where it seems like it's like it's soft. Uh-huh. And you just let it sit in there. For about an extra minute with nothing, just let it sit. Yeah, sit in the heat. Hard up a little bit. That bread gonna harden up just a little bit, give you some crunch on that thing. You put some hot sauce on that bad boy. Bow. (laughs) Man, now I wanna go buy pizza rolls. We we can order pizza. (laughs) And roll it up. (laughs) Damn, I should have brought weed. Bring pizza. You should have brought, man, we are on live here. <laughs> hey, hey, smoke weed every day, people. Shout yeah. out to Nate Dog. Yeah, hey, yeah. Right. We, 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 have, comment. we got another comment. Did I miss it? Oh, she's correcting herself. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oven. So. I was picking up what you was putting down, baby. Yep. We got it. We can read between the lines. Start, a, so start a poll. Does, does hot wings belong in the oven or the microwave? Oh, hot wings belong in the deep fryer well, first. Hot wings. I said the pizza rolls, but the hot wings definitely belong in the deep fryer. Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. You right, can't breathe. The oven. Mm-mm, I don't fuck with no oven based wings. So. I'm, I'm microwaving those also. Uh, mm. This dude. <laughs> <laughs> None microwaving of that. at all. It, it I'm just happen. eating it cold. I don't give I a fuck. If I'm too. hungry, it's I'm just, just, just eating it. Right. The best you can eat cold is KFC. Thank you. Had KFC Ooh, and, uh, thank you. Thank you. Come on now. Yeah, I, I KFC is good, hot or cold. KFC, I expect to check. Once contact Popeyes me. came around, it was over for KFC. I hear people contact me. Yeah. The flavor, the, the spices. Yeah. Now, why is. You know what? I take that back. Five chicken places because we have four or five. They all taste different. They all, Look, yeah, we've got exactly. Popeyes, we've got Bojangles, church is shut down. I've never been to Bojangles. Uh, don't do it. Don't, do it. don't go to Bojangles. I keep riding by and they're empty. Like, I'm Church over there on Mercury Creek. Why do they stay in business? Look, uh, the only thing you want to eat at Bojangles is biscuit. the Cajun filet biscuit. That's it. Cajun filet biscuit. Yeah, it's like it's almost like a spicy chicken version, like from Popeyes. Don't you know? go to Bojangles ever. I mean, apparently nobody does. I ride by, and the only thing in the parking lot is the employees. I don't know how they're not shut down down here. I don't agree with they, that. They have a big. Uh, I've never seen nobody the there. They have a big uh, breakfast rush. Because they That's have keeping them alive. Yeah, and it's kind of like Hardee's. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hardee's got okay. big breakfast too. Yeah, but Hardee's so, sandwiches are. Oh, they're amazing, they're but they're expensive. <laughs> yes, but it's worth it. So, uh, Bojangles, Bojangles, Bojangles has uh, what is it called? They're called bow rounds, and they're these big. They're about this thick and that big around hash brown rolls. They're like they're like little hash brown cakes. That's what's keeping them alive. Okay. 
Okay, I'm sorry, but the best hash browns are either McDonald's, McDonald's. or Dunkin' Donuts. What? Dunkin' Donuts hash browns are fucking tits. I haven't had their hash browns. Have you ever had McDonald's hash McDonald's. browns? I just keep... No. Would you no. like to go get some? Oh, no, no do too. not get Bojangles your money. Yeah. They don't, don't do it. And a bagel. Do I've had their bagels. Mm-hmm. Bo- Bojangles mm-hmm. was the name of a yeah, black man that yes, taught yes, yes. Uh, uh, Shirley Temple how to dance. His name was Edward Bojangles Robinson. He was one of the first premier iconic dancers in Hollywood. He taught uh, all the, the big dancers. Um, what's the dude that made that song? In heaven, I'm in heaven. Mm-hmm. The one that's on the green mile? Yeah, but yeah, how, how he's a dancer and the uh, mm-hmm. Bojangles taught him how to dance also. What? And then at the <laughs> end of his at the end of his life he ran into some money problems and nobody would help him out, so he had to sell the rights to his name and then they made a chicken spot. They oh, took wow. a black man oh, and they made a chicken spot. Uh, so does So so I don't, I don't go to Bojangles. Wow. Well, I've just Bojangles, unless you want to contact right my now, you can look at Bojangles the same way. Yeah, <laughs> right. but I mean, before but that, then, oh as a black oh, man talking about chicken, my my opinion is too valuable. Right. Right. <laughs> Even before that, tomorrow. someone went and put a thing on Facebook, you know, because whenever you have a bad experience at a fast food place, you got to go to Facebook first. Oh, that's what I did. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> someone went on there and was like. They're touching their biscuits without gloves, and I saw oh, one of them wipe yeah. their nose oh, and like oh, roll through the food. That's all it takes. It might even be true. Once you put it on the on the book, it's over. Oh, it's over now. It's yeah. over. It's out there. Y'all, what about? Have y'all ever experienced iHeart Spring Hill? No. iHeart mm-hmm. Spring Hill. They're like the retail restaurant mafia of the internet. Oh yeah. Where's yes. That? Where's that? That's on face. a Facebook group. Oh okay. It's a Facebook group oh, okay. with like, it's got like. I want to say it's like 90,000 people on it. Wow, really? Yeah, because they're not all from Spring Hill. Mm -hmm. And they have, I've watched them destroy businesses like it's nothing. They took a shot at us one time. What? Yes, and I took a shot back. I know, that's right. Fuck y'all, I'm in Columbia. What happened? happened? No, I put it up there and this dude was on there. He was like, yeah, I gave it a hard 15 seconds and passed. And I was like, 15 seconds in, I said, I told him, I so said. So you heard welcome to the mothership and like cut out. Right. Mm-hmm. Like 15 seconds in, you haven't even got to the show. That shows how fucking ignorant you are. You know? So I just let it go. You know what I mean? I, I, I said my piece, but. Shout out to you being responsible and handling things on a mothership. <laughs> right. Right. I got to. I gotta carry myself a certain way. Yeah. Man, that's that's great because if he had said I would have, I gave it a hard fifteen seconds in, then I passed. I would have like that's exactly what your mom should do with your dad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure. So, I, but, hope, I, I really hope that he's listening. You know what? He probably does listen. We also have a racist hater, like. Like a month. Hey. Yeah. Hey you. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, sir? Shout out to the racist dude that comments on every place I put the podcast. Oh damn, I'm so we sorry. We love you. I'm Keep so giving us some views. You. We free, you nigga. By the way, <laughs> we got an answer look, wait, to wait. you sing that song. I'm hugging a white woman. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Look. That blood, that blood <laughs> is boiling. Like here that I have adopted black brother. Yeah. So, uh oh. This blood is boiling right now. Right. Hey, look, someone that I call uncle and Someone that I call Pops, they're both black, so yeah. come at me, oh, bruh. It's a new yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Pops and Tio. Love y'all. Right, right. What did that say? Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire. Okay. Thank you. Look, thank you. Yeah, the viewers are on it. Thank Shout you, out Lucinda. to the viewers and the list. Thank you. Fred Astaire. Uh, Bojangles taught Fred Astaire. Uh, some choreography not right. everything he knew but he definitely taught him choreography right. by the way yes. thank you crystal now i'm hungry because bowberry biscuit just seems amazing and mm. sounds good in my mm. head and that's what i want to eat now along with pizza rolls fuck it i'm fat just give me everything fuck it i'm fat <laughs> <laughs> give me everything fluffy that's all <laughs> do you know that people have uh they have feeding fetishes like there's websites where yes like, like we could make if you just want me to feed you and cut that money we can make some money now I'm they game. Yeah, I'm game. Them. Give me money. Wow. I'm trying yeah. to buy a Lexus, That's, guys. Is, what? <laughs> what? So what they do? They like to keep their their wives or chicks big, so they like to feed them, and, and they get all they get. Don't they get like um paid for that to get people? Yeah. Them? So the way it works <laughs> is they they fund you as far as like they pay for all your food and they fund you. So they they send the money, and you're supposed to continue eating. And they, they want to see videos and pictures of you eating and stuff like that. Oh, no. I'm good. 
I mean, yeah, we not about you to You just pay, gave so me right? inspiration. Well, what right? you I'm going to go on Instagram and start like hashtagging food porn. Right. <laughs> we can't hear you, Brandon. Do they get to choose what you eat also? No, they just send the money. They and sponsor you. Yeah. Like, hey. their donate button their donate button is for the food. You know what I'm saying? I'll bet that. Yeah, it's crazy. Man, it's a crazy world out here, man. You yeah, can do whatever you want. Yes, yeah. for sure, yeah. man. You can make money off of damn near anything. Anything. <laughs> I'm over here scheming in my head right, right. now. Like, how much? Could, yes. Look, I done told y'all I'm trying to buy a Lexus. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Ooh, shout out to hey the racist guy. If you, if you really want to affect some change and you're really tired of, of the way things are going, you can hit that download button to send Brandon... Back to Africa. Oh, the donate button. Yeah. Send, yes, I saw that. <laughs> send me the, back to Africa. But <laughs> you did you can. see that? I don't know. It's you a dude that's that. raising money right now <laughs> through racist people, donating money. Oh my god, I didn't send see that. Back. Send him back to Africa. Oh, oh man. Hi, that's, mom. He's, he's gonna hit target. I'm sure. <laughs> that's a that's a nice nice little bucket of money he got coming in. Right, right. Man. So right. I I fully support that shit. Guys, my mom's watching. So Your mom's watching. <laughs> my Hello, mom's mom. watching. Where do you see that? <laughs> it says it right there cuz I'm what come after after. Baby, I'll swing by and give you a hug cuz I love you. So, wait, wait, wait. What's your mama's name? My mom's name is Jackie Park. Hey, Jackie. Hello, Jackie. You know, you know why she's on here, right? She she's did. trying to she's creeping she's trying to no, make sure I'm not saying shit somebody done told her you were hugging a black man oh. <laughs> you see how fast she popped up what? boop my mom's here I gotta go <laughs> she said I better behave mama I always behave Mm-mm-mm. this is so interesting why can't we see her post on here I wonder because you're not scrolling that's why oh. I pulled it up on my phone oh my bad, oh. My bad. oh there she is Hey, Jackie. I wonder if I can open this in another window. Let's open Link in a new right. window. Let's look at her mama. Right. Mom. God. <laughs> mom, why did you have to do this? <laughs> what? That makes me weird. I just want to put a face with the name. Which one's your mom? My mom's the one on the end. Here? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Beautiful. Hey, mom. Some of y'all, if y'all are, you know, from Marin County, you probably had her as a teacher. She works at Baker. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay, I didn't go to Baker. I was so scared. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. What was that? Ghost oh. here. You pulled this over. My bad. My bad. A shout out to uh, to your mom in Baker School and, you know. Shout out to public teachers. Y'all. Thank you for having. Yeah, really hard. Rachel. <laughs> Thank you for creating Rachel. <laughs> Thanks for grabbing the uh, wrong baby at the hospital. Uh oh. That's, that's what y'all say? You yeah, because no, my mom, she's sometimes. brownheaded. My dad's redheaded, and oh, I popped gosh. out blonde. So, Uh-oh. I'm not. Oh, even gonna Nay, tell yeah, that. you're showing up late to the party, Nene. Please, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see you. We, we on our way. Nene was supposed to be doing our um, our artwork today, so nah. he'll be, yeah, he's gonna be drawing us today. Yo, oh man, so I get to like be a, a animated uh, space person. Yeah. Man. It's gonna be dope. So, by the way, That's I'm gonna need hard. y'all to continue with the racist guy that comments on everything because I need to go find this guy now. Like, oh. I'm gonna search him out and just I'm gonna seek who him out. Who was it who told me about yeah, him? It was Tim. Y'all wanted to put Look, his name out there. If y'all, y'all anybody name, that's friends with Tim, Ozzy. Y'all know who I'm talking about. If you don't know who he is, you just don't know who he is. But he's a photographer, Tim Ozzy. He's not the racist guy, but he's the one who brought it to my attention. He needs to come in here and let us know who that guy was. He sent me the screenshots. I'm, I mean, I could probably just pull it up, but I still want you to come, Ozzy. So come on in. Did you would like us to release the name of the racist man so we can all go make his life a little bit more miserable? Hit that donate button. Right. <laughs> so, um, I like the donate button. It's good. Ben, um, is there anything you want to leave us with before we switch over? Uh, all right. Uh, it's the official get the hell off the couch uh, moment. Um, no. Uh, just, I appreciate the support. Uh, like I said, been so crazy. Type that in Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. I, I got. You and it's both. all one word, right? <laughs> yeah, been so crazy. I've never tried to do it separate. It probably come up the same. It better not be another been so crazy out there. I might have to start. It was that's a catchy l- name though, man. Accent. I was like, oh, that's a great name. I mean, it, it fit me. I'm, I'm, I've been called on the crazy side, so I figured I'd run with it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just check it out. Stay tuned. I'm gonna try to uh upload more frequently. You know, I have my moments, but I'm gonna try to. 
be more consistent and keep you laughing and take this thing off so uh you know okay i've, so, I've researched what they pay on there and uh, after a few million views it's <laughs> it's, it's nice. pretty damn good there's guys who go on there and they get an easy 15k in probably a day with a good following right. easy off a few million views i'm just like i say it again what am i doing with my guys. life you know exactly. i know You're i'm like, funnier than to, some of the stuff that i've seen ways. so yeah i've just check out the page keep the support coming and uh it's only going to get better and better from here i promise you that so right okay. thank you for having me and all that good stuff okay so, are you gonna stick around for a minute or no, you... let me get the hell out of dodge you know it's okay. sunday you know got all things right, to do cool. so that's thank cool. you for having me i'll be back anytime you want me definitely do the uh the skit, skit for yeah. the show Look i don't to see that. i call it a skit but it ain't even really it's a chronicle it's like a it's like a audio cinema chronicle i mean it's yeah. got sound effects it's got you know, different voice actors, it's got a storyline. It's not really skits. Okay. You know? I'd say skits, but it's not. I could come up with a skit off the top of my head with this with this setup. Yeah. I can just yes. I can see it. So We're gonna do that. We're definitely gonna do, gonna do some, I, some I, I good told, things. So. For sure, man. Thank you for having me. Who that right. nation? Good to see you. <laughs> Who that nation? No, we can't use that term. Why not? That's another podcast. It is. Yes, that's the same. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, for real. yeah, and they're they're sleep beefing with us a little bit. Sleep they're beefing. Really? Hold on. Oh, we'll Lord. wait for the next guest because she's. Right. They started to beef on her page. I'm gonna need them to get their panties out of there. All right. Okay. All right. Look. 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 Podcast guys. Oh. Hold right. on, let me let me get podcast you, people. Let me get you there. up and personal here. And Go the, ahead. The podcast lands and all that type of stuff. Where we look right there. Yeah, looking, <laughs> there we are. There we are. All right, look, podcast people. There's no need to start beefing over over little things that that are relatively small, and there's there's no reason to. to oh, see, you, bro. Peace, man. It was good seeing you, man. But like, but guys, I don't I don't know if you, if. The who that nation or anybody else, the racist guy or anything like that. If you guys are really, you know, active on our page, you should be. Why don't you go there, check it out. Uh, you'll see that who that um, was just at the the boxing camp of uh, the Real Columbia Boxing Gym, which means we'll beat shit at you. All right. <laughs> so, so like, let's just keep it all cordial and everything. Like, don't don't try to start a beef. Who that nation, who that podcast can come together and have a special podcast. There's no reason why there can't be peace and tranquility in the world. But the 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 way that you're going about doing it is not is not conducive to the proper progression of anybody. I.e. don't get your ass fucked up. <laughs> Alright. So hold on. I found I this guy. Hold on, let me Oh shit. I think he's changed his uh Oh, it's still on me. Oh, y'all yeah, 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 yeah. Right. You good, man? You good? This, this is what I look though? like fresh, at, fresh after I wake up. <clears throat> no, he just talks about how like pathetic we are and stuff. But his <laughs> name is damn. his name is, is Jay. He's just a miserable person. His name is Jay so Murray. People like that are miserable. Jay Murray. <laughs> yes. M U R R A Y. Hey, yeah, oh. yeah. So, yeah, and he 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 continuously. Um, for like a week. Can I can I read what he said? Yeah, it's, this isn't all of them. I, I actually had a thing, but he doesn't say anything racist about us. He's you just look as as desperate for attention as those fucking Middle East guys posting this shit in the comments everywhere. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh snap. Yeah. Jay. <laughs> I need y'all to find out like where he's from, and then I can pinpoint it because look. And Teresa, you already know because I straight up found found that profile earlier when we were looking at for sure. We're, we're women; we do investigations yeah. very well. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I have found his page, but like when I went to his page, it was all NRA, Trump. You know what I mean? It was all just like. So it's probably the one that says "working on trucks and cars." I don't know. <laughs> we, oh, is he a redneck? Oh, Damn. for sure. No, I don't think that's yeah, him. I don't, I don't think that's him. <laughs> Sorry to the guy that I just called out and says working on trucks and cars. <laughs> that may be. I don't know. The dude is. It was. He was something else. But his his main picture was like some. We could all get along, like Rodney King said. Uh, we could. We could. But Jay, until we all do get along, and until Martin Luther King's dream is is fulfilled, fuck you and your mother. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> he came strong on that one. Right. <laughs> Fuck you and your mother. Yeah. Whoa. Let's just cover the generations on this one. Yeah. I'm trying to adjust this camera for her real quick. Sure yeah, I'm a little see. shorter than he was sitting over here. <laughs> yeah. That, and it's got a couple arms that kind of stay in the way. See, like, look at that. Oh, uh, my God. I'm so sorry to Rachel's mom for my... Uh, yeah, I'm, I cuss a lot I now. think she's already off. Okay. I think she's probably All done. Right. She's probably watching, like, uh, uh, crap, Charmed or something like Charmed. that. Charmed is not yeah, a bad show. That's what she's been watching. Charmed is not a bad show. My mom is into, like, a lot of those old, like, uh, Perry Mason. Uh, what's the one... With Jessica Fletcher, she's always in people's business. No matter what, where she goes, she finds out about a murder or some shit. Murder she wrote. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'll be right back. Go ahead. Murder she wrote is a is a needless show. Murder she wrote is what happens when you don't mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they said? <laughs> That's what happens. You end up getting every. No matter where she goes, you got to help somebody with something. Uh oh! You gonna break shit? I'm real glad that y'all just getting a nice, nice look at me. I'm, I can't lie. So Entertain them niggas. Right. Hey, y'all hit that donate button. I will start rapping right now. <laughs> sure. I guess that's, that's how it's gonna have to work. Can you move? That works. That's that's pretty. Things. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. No, 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 no. The thing's just on top of it. Yes, that and that. Thank you. Thank you. Look gorgeous. There we go. Thank you. I guess it's busting. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and introduce yourself for everybody. Um, I'm Teresa Nolan with Dark Slate Promotions. I'm a local promoter here in Tennessee. Mm. Oh, my mom said no. Your mom said no what? That she's not gone. She's <laughs> not <laughs> I uh, yeah. Mom stalking you. Make sure you're a good girl. <laughs> How does that make you feel some type of way? It does. It makes me feel some type of way. Because oh. every time she's like, should I go listen to the podcast? I'm like, no, mm, <laughs> don't I, do it. Look, I straight up told too. my mom. I said, mom, look, I'm on there. And you talk about every aspect of my life that I don't talk to you about with you. And I mean, I'm 33 years old, man. Come on now. <laughs> so I was like, please don't go on there. I mean, if she wants to, she can. My mom knows a lot about me. I'm pretty open. But I was just honest with mine. Yeah. And she she downloaded and subscribed and gave you know ratings. Go go give us a five. A five yes. on the rating. Yes. And iTunes, Google, Spotify. Give us some stars. That. Give us some stars. Yeah. And I just told her I was like, look, you know my personality, and I'm and I'm showcasing it on on full tilt. I'm, like, I'm everything you think I might be talking about. That's exactly what's what's happening. She was like, okay, so just listen to it with. With uh, some levity, oh, like exactly. Don't take yes. don't take this all the way seriously. I'm still your son, and I love you. I just have a few views. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, Rachel's mom. Rachel's getting a chance to experience like. <laughs> you I like know. how you're going into defense mode. Like. Yes, you. Yes, yes. Uh, she's gonna, she's you know experiencing like like radio style like life you know just kind of this meeting interesting people and, you know it's just it's just another aspect of life and we're about to go on the road mom hit that donate button yes yes if yeah, you're here donate support us and go. her, and her. <laughs> make it so I can get paid another way you know I'm trying to get a new car oh, multiple there streams of go. income yeah so so our guest. Back at you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. You're a promoter. What are you? I am. Yeah. So. Um, I've been doing it like five years now. So okay. I've hung around bands, dating musicians all my life, and helped people get booked. And somebody said, "Why don't you just do your own promotion company?" I'm like, "You know what? I'll do it." And started five mm -hmm. years ago, and it's been going ever since. Okay. Right on. Okay. And what's your company's name? Dark Slate Promotions. And uh, the majority of your clientele are. Majority of what I book is alternative to some heavy metal, but cool. why I'm here with you is I want to expand to different things. Right. Down in the Columbia, Lewisburg, Tullahoma area, I want to do different music, like hip-hop and some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be the promoter down here in this area 
you know, that right. nobody has. Right, right. That right. I can carry it to people that I know that can help this area. Mm-hmm. Right. So I try and explain to people the importance of marketing and promoting and stuff. But since you're in the business, go ahead and, and kind of attack that so they can understand the uh, the importance and how this stuff make or breaks you. You see people commenting promoters i can't do your job for you all the time it's not 100 percent my job you know i book you i run the show whatever but you have to share your own share your own page promote yourself get your get your people in there right. you know get your people it's not me that has to do everything i promote uh, the, the, the venue promotes too but the band has to bring their own you know if you don't do anything and you have to work at it nothing's going to come to you hand it to you you got to work you got to work it you got to you know you got to spend some money to make some money sometimes you got to feed it oh yeah and uh, you got to spend it to get it Um, get money don't make money be a humble be a humble band Uh, don't be arrogant um help other bands you know just be a team player on things don't think that you're better than others you know i've come across some very good people um I never really had any problems with anybody. You know, I've had a few bands I've booked, of course, that didn't promote themselves, and 10 people show up for that band. I'm like, okay, yeah. you lacked this. Right. But they'll, they'll learn. They're young. A lot of the younger ones that come out think they it, it's going to happen right then and there. Right. It's not going to. You've right. got to work at it. Yeah. You really do. I mean, it's just, the, the music industry around here in Tennessee, for it, it's we've lost a lot of good venues uh venues these days take forever to respond back in emails for us it's like if i have a touring band you know like big smo you know and i gotta have i got three days 72 hours to give them uh an answer and that venue takes a week i lose that tour because uh, they got a book they they got money they got money holding and uh yeah. but it's getting you know Dang. yeah it's not as good as it used to be but it's still going pretty strong. Right, right. It but, is. But I want to venture out. I want to. I mm-hmm. want to extend my olive tree out, and I want to do any type of music. Country, anything. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Are you beating up our equipment over there? No, your, your thing attacked me. It did attack? <laughs> oh, okay. Your bozo nose. Uh, Here, actually, me. move that mic to that side a little bit, because the camera... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. It was kind of in your face, so... I'm not, I'm not a big country person. You know, I think if I listen to country longer than 30 minutes, I'm probably going to hang myself. Nah. Even though I'm so Southern, everybody's like, oh, what country bands do you book? I'm like, none. Nah. <laughs> I'm the metal chick, pretty much, kind of, you know. Let me tell you, the, the, market. the crazy thing about the difference between, like, bands and rap artists is most bands can't afford a music video and it's like five of them or four of them and rap artists will bang out four music videos in one sitting they'll be like look i need four music videos i'll give you this much money mm-hmm. so me when i used to shoot music videos and stuff i would be like i'd approach bands i'd be like hey why don't we do this music video they'd be like that's cool well, how much would it be and i give them a price and they'd be like uh, and i'm like you get a backer and a contract oh yeah of course you, know, you get this back for whatever but if you're hungry it's gonna come for you make you gotta be work. hungry right you have to be hungry right you, gotta, you just make it work you can't be unemployed and be in a band it, it's just not gonna happen <laughs> right right <laughs> it, it's not gonna happen you gotta have merch and you gotta have videos and you gotta have things and you gotta have your facebook page everybody's gotta share everybody's gotta promote themselves right you just gotta work for it it's not ever gonna be handed to anybody right but it is uh, relatively um, easier to access that uh, that support system for, for bands and performers and acts and talent, you know, with social media. Mm-hmm. It's just really about making yourself proactive and about making yourself uh, visible. Right. And, and, and especially bumping into a promoter like you, you know what I mean? Because that's where a lot of people uh, have their pitfalls. Like, they'll, they'll be active and, and promote but it stays within this contained little circle and they're not able to go do a show at a venue and, and, and make, you know, new fans. In Chicago. You get the same yeah. people that comes every show. It's exactly. like, exactly. you know, come on, get get new people. Come on, do this or do that. And 
I, I think hip hop is the definite market to be in right now. I, that's why I, I, you know I, I was like, you know what? I've seen it booming lately. I've yeah. seen things, and I know a good producer of mine who has um, a, a guy right now that's um, he's recording in, uh, in Nashville, and boy, that boy's got some talent. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't get permission to say his name, so I'm not gonna say it. Okay. Um, but uh, I'm like, you know what? He goes, why don't you do that? He goes, don't stick with your same genre. Yeah, I said, you know what? You, that makes a lot of sense. And yeah. you approach the, the hip hop market with um, yep. with the lessons that you already learned yep. from the up man. It, it doesn't matter what music I do now, it's the same business. Mm -hmm. I can promote, manage, book this, this, or this. It's the same business and it's the same way. So it doesn't matter what music it is. It, so you, you manage X also? Oh, yeah, I've managed bands and oh, wow. been their booking agent and their manager. I've done a lot of bands through the five years. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So, what if we wanted to put together a festival? Would would that you, be something you could put together? A lot of venues are probably like yeah, they want somebody who's a manager or a promoter because it puts the responsibility to us. Because a lot of venues now don't book with band members because they're shady. You know, they always say they're shady or you know, they don't show up or whatever. Right. So the promoters, it's all mine. You know the the guarantee it's all me the the door cost it's all on me that's why they like to deal with somebody who's managers or you know promoters or whatever right. but i mean would you could you put a good like if i wanted to do a music festival yeah just one day if i wanted to do the who that music festival would you be a person i could call to absolutely load up with? yeah and how much money that's where you want to be no no i'd do it here i do everything to support in the house yeah, in this house. <laughs> We're going to have a festival a, in the house. Right up yard. there, right up there on the balcony up there. <laughs> but uh, but no, I I would want to do it here in Columbia. I'd want to do it outdoor. And um, it wouldn't all have to be local talent. But I mean, how much money? Are, are those bands getting paid for the festivals? Are those bands... Well, you would want to get a, a good touring band, a, a good headliner right of and course. that's where your money um is going to go more to your headliner right because your headliner the people who opens for that headliner is getting exposure right so right. normally your opening band if they're playing for a signed hip-hop artist right they don't get paid they get a tip you know they can get by tips right because you're getting exposure you don't know how many you know producers right there or this management this company you don't know who's in that audience right, right you know right. there's a lot of bands out in the world that's played in you know shithole little venues and it's from sony records you got a guy sitting right there who's in town boom right gets signed you don't ever know who's where so so if from your opinion who would be an affordable headliner that you feel like would be good for a music festival one day well of course i could probably get a hold of Jelly Roll. Jelly and Struggle, because um, I know the guys from when they played at the River League in Hendersonville. Um, Jelly Roll is a good dude. Yeah. Um, Big Smo would be another one. I helped uh, book Big Smo in Murfreesboro. Right. And um, um, so, y'all know who Twisted is, don't you? Twisted, Twisted, Twisted. Twisted Sister? No. no Twisted. No. The the three white guys they got the paint all on their face white yeah, with yeah, the rapper. Yeah, 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 They're yeah, yeah. big. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm about to look up twisted. Yeah. So And they they'll sell out. Twisted will. People listening, would you uh would you come to a music festival with Jelly Headlining? And uh I mean Smoke me Smoke just lives in Tullahoma, right on yeah. the other side of Shelbyville. I got a He's story I got a story to tell you about Smoke off the air. Okay. <laughs> so all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, yeah. Um, so, if they wanted to reach you to, you know, these artists, if they want to reach you to help, you know, get this promotion going, I'm on find? Instagram and I'm on Facebook. Okay. Under Dark Slate Promotions. Okay. All right. How There's three words. That? Is it S L E I? It's, it's dark and then S L A T E, like A -T -Slate. slate. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's okay. been asleep. Slight. So how do you how do you how do you charge people for the promotion? Like, what do, if I needed you to promote my podcast, 
How is that handling? You don't have to say prices, but how is it gauged? So somebody will know. So it I depends just... on how many of your sites you want me to run. Okay. And what and deals that have to. If I have to do the business meeting, or I have to do with the money, or I do the negotiations. It right. just depends on what you want me to do for you. Okay. And it kind of goes from there. Okay. Now, is that where you specialize in social media, or are you an on-foot, in-your-face type of lady? I'm both. Yeah? Okay. I mean, I've learned that women in this industry, I mean, they, they'll, they'll, they'll listen, but I had to earn my respect. I had to earn the five years of the reputation, because I don't, I, you know, all the bands I've booked, there's nobody can say anything bad about me. Right. Because I'm professional. Um, I run a tight ship. I just got good people. I had a show you last get shit night. Taken care of. I get things done. I'm, I'm business. I'm I'm focused. I don't get drunk at my shows. I don't. I'm focused. I'm focused. You know. Right. I'm bought, I run it. I pay the sound man's thing. You know. That's my show. I pay for you. So it's all me. All ends in my lap. So anything screws up, goes wrong, it comes to me. Yeah. So and that's why I'm I'm on it. You know. Sometimes I can be kind of hard, but I don't mean to be. But I mean, that's, it kind of comes with the territory, especially if someone wants to be successful. You're going to have to have somebody put put their foot down and go, no, this is yeah. what you've got to do if you want to make it. Right. I think I've been in this business long, as long as I have because of the reputation I have gained and the trust from the bands I've booked over the years. So. Yeah. Sorry, I was adjusting her mic. It was like straight across her face. She was like peeking through the little bar there. So <laughs> she's looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, what are you doing? Don't make me get your mama out here. Oh no! <laughs> here she is. Could not wait. <laughs> he couldn't wait. She gonna pop up again? Mom, yeah. come get her. No, uh -huh. no, she got on there and she was like, and she's being the typical mom. She's like, she's always been a free spirit. My daughter was born in the wrong generation. Then Crystal came to the rescue and was like, she, she definitely was Jackie. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> Rain my mama in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm born and raised here. I was I was born and raised in Woodbine, and then we moved to Where Antioch. Where is Woodbine? South Nashville. Oh, okay. All right. And we moved to Berry Hill, then Antioch, when Antioch was great. It was middle class. Everybody wanted to be in Antioch. Now, you couldn't give me a house in Antioch. It's good places, but it's just wrong people moving in and just yeah. running down their neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Right, right. So, working with artists, what do you think the biggest challenge to working with, with artists Number one, I can't work with an artist if they don't trust me. If you come to me and you want advice or you want help and then I give it to you or I'm up straight or I'm up front, if you can't take criticism, you mm. just, you can't. You have to learn to learn from it. If somebody tells you something, don't get butt hurt about it. Learn from it. It's a learning, to, it's a learning thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you come to me beautiful. for this or that or whatever and I tell you and you don't like it, well, then don't come to me. Right. You know, you want you came to me to help you. I didn't come to you. You know, that's kind of how I feel. I mean, I've got bands that don't want to listen. Um, and just I don't know. They just learn from experience, I guess. Right. I trial and to. error, failure, and yeah, success. Yeah, trial and error. You know, some yeah, I've managed some bands. I parted ways <coughs> because you know they were starting to get acknowledged, and then I started to go, okay, I helped you to here now. It's from now, it's going. Up, now I'm going to start charging. So every show I book for you, twenty percent. You're going to pay me every month, you know, to promote you and take care of you. And I think it's fair. And they mm -hmm. didn't want to pay me a small fee monthly, right? For me to, but they wanted me to do all their work for free, right? So, so that's the best way to do it monthly. Yeah, monthly pay. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. so. so, what's what's your uh, your ultimate like goal? Do you want to? You want to be able to book like different bands or you're looking for uh one or two acts that you can manage and and be the booking agent like what do you feel what, what do you well, when the you're the manager you're the booking too you do it all oh okay you, unless okay. you coincide with another a booking agent that will book out of state for you yeah. and you're the local manager in t like in tennessee because we um i had a band that we had a booking agent in another state okay but he helped went on the tour outside of tennessee and that was the manager but everything still came through me okay yeah so you can do that you can have separate what do you have the most fun doing like from all the different hats what, what, what gives you like the most like adrenaline rush i guess like keeps you in in the game just to see how many people walk through my door see the crowd mm. see everybody enjoying 
the music and uh, have a good show. That's what I, I like. I think that gives me more um, happiness than earning money at the door. Because let me tell you, what a lot of people don't know is, say the door didn't bring the guarantee. I've had to pay out of my own pocket because that's what you do as a good promoter. I always carry money in with me for backup in case I don't make it. Mm. If this band, I sign a contract for a $500 guarantee and it don't, I don't make it, I've got to pay it. Uh, that's what you do. I've got rent money out before, light bill money, you know, things that was bill money. Yeah. But I took care of my bands. There you go. That's what makes me apart from a lot of people, I think. Moral I'm sorry integrity. to say that, but it is. The moral of it is I've given bill money up to take care of these bands that I'll keep doing it if I have to. All right. Let me, let me ask you this. and um, That's good karma. Do you believe... I try to say good karma. <laughs> do you believe in artists paying to open up for bigger names? Oh, here we go. It oh, used yeah. to be called the pay-to-play thing. Yeah. Um, now it's not called that because a lot of promoters or venues don't like to call that now. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, there's a venue that, like I'm not going to say names, that any big act, these bands got to sell so many tickets. And the reason why they make them do that to make sure they bring in enough people. Because if they just let them come and open up for this big band and they bring 10 people, that's not going to help their overall cost of paying for this big band. But in a way, I don't agree on it. I've never had mine to do it. I've never done it. I just... I, Maybe I should on certain bands, big bands I have booked in the past. I should mm. have made them sell 20 tickets or something like that to mm-hmm. make sure that, but I don't, I don't know. So promoters do. Yeah. I hear a lot from artists that just, they're like, I don't believe in that, da, da, da. If you don't have enough faith in me, I shouldn't be opening up. And, you know, I hear, I hear different aspects. Now, from a business standpoint for me, and I'm not a musician, I, I'm just like, all right. You know, this big name has 100,000 people here. You know, I don't have 100,000 fans. I don't have 1,500 fans. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? If I can pay in a little bit and open up, cool. You know, that's the way I feel about it. Now, I've got musician friends that are totally against that. They would throw rocks at me and kill me in this <laughs> chair right now, you know? A lot of professional <sighs> bands understand the concept. Say if you open it up for... I don't know Metallica, for instance. Yeah, bands would be throwing some money out, right, to get in front of somebody huge like that because the opportunity is. I've had some bands that are friends of mine who's went on tour. They picked them up, liked them, and took them with them. Right. You yeah. never know what's going to happen. So, like I said, merch, promote, sell, do whatever. Put your band fun on the side, yeah. and work your way up. Now, you said merchandise. Do you, do you manage merchandise? Are you are you good with that? Because we are, I would say, in another month or so, we will be having clothing merchandise. I can help you get to the right people that will give you a little bit lesser cost than. Okay. You know, I got a few people that, that does shirts, but no, you know, right. but there's a lot of good places on if you go online and look. That's pretty reasonable. Right. As long as you do one color and not front and back. You right. Know. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, the the shirts we're going to have, since our whole theme is like a sci-fi theme, we're going to do like a, like almost like an 80s theme with the shirts. They're all going to have like an 80s overtone to them. So he wasn't even born in the 80s. You weren't born in the 80s? Oh, He's oh, a 90s wasn't. baby. I'm 90s. Uh, that, it doesn't matter. I remember when he said 90s. I'm, I'm like, oh. 90s. You remember the 90s? You remember, people used to do the nasty in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have sex. They did the nasty. Okay. Do y'all know about that? Huh? We had that yeah. session last week. Oh, I did we? I know we about did. Oh. Someone else brought No. No. Bethany brought it up. Yes. The nasty. And we were yes. asking if she'd ever done the nasty in any of her costumes. <laughs> yes. 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 She had a cosplayer on here. And we oh, yeah? She'd ever yes. done the yeah. nasty in it. The nasty. <laughs> the nasty. I'm going to so bring nice. it back. We should bring it back. We should make a shirt that's just doing the nasty. Doing the na- yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Can we get some likes if y'all will, will, will wear those shirts Would doing you, the nasty shirt? And we should have like like a silhouette of somebody dancing and it just says doing the nasty <laughs> you know what I'm saying that would be guys a cool shirt that. yeah that was a love that we're gonna get a whole yeah make sure it's not the work the saying is like already copyrighted did. and owned what doing the nasty yeah and uh, I own Dark Slate Promotions nobody can right. take my name I own it I paid for that name right so if anybody right. was to use it 
they'll have a lawyer up their butt. <laughs> Brandon, see if anybody owns doing the nasty spell D O I N. And exactly. if any of you users go and register this, I swear to God, I'll find you in the middle of the night. Honestly, and this is gonna sound real messed up, but my my stance on it is even if somebody does own it. Fuck it. By the time they find out that we're doing it, well, we would have made some money. Yeah, that is been in and out. Be yeah. like, I don't know nothing about that doing a nasty shirt. Just play, just a, play dumb. It was really? an album. I didn't know. By right. Silk Toxic. What? Doing the nasty was an album. So well, you might have the rights to that. But one. how is it spelled? But it's it's in Canada. It's in Canada too. It's in Canadian. <laughs> <It's in Canada. laughs> you were about to say it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. But it's in Canada, so I don't even think they got rights here. Right, 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 right. Doing the nasty. Doing the Is nasty. Is it doing? Look at the Urban Dictionary. Nasty? You can always thrust. flip a word around. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're exactly. making that yeah. shirt. We're we making that shirt. Yeah. Tune B, if you're listening, go ahead and throw that on the list. Doing the nasty. Doing the nasty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's coming soon. Oh, I can't wait. We man, the podcast might do good, but the shirts they, they might do better. It. They loving it. Look, yeah. like it up, share it up. Yes, <laughs> yes, all of that. And you got two hot models right here to go. model the shirt. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Be like, yeah. Doing the yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Have you ever had a photo shoot done? Yes. Have you? I've got two photo shoots. Yeah. So. <laughs> wait, wait. You've got to send them to us. Now. <laughs> you send them. Some to of us. my pictures are on my page. Okay. On my well, personal page. Pick two that you like. So when I do your, um, I got someone I was blonde. I used to be a platinum blonde like Rachel. Oh wow! Ooh. And then, and then I got someone I'm black. My hair's black, so I got two different right looks. So make sure you get them to us, so I can when I put out the podcast, the official podcast on iTunes and everything. Mm-hmm. People, we can put the pictures under. They like that shit. You know what I'm saying? See the face and all that. That's why we got this whole thing going on right here right now. So. You know? Nice. So, um, if there's any piece of advice you give to a musician, what would it be? Don't give up. Don't give up. You're going to have the door slammed in your face a hundred times. Just believe in yourself. Love your music. Don't ever, just don't give up. Yeah. And if you don't make it, you don't get signed, oh well, to keep doing what you love. Right. Because mm-hmm. like if you stress about it, it's going to mess you up. Right. So, how would, so. on a scale of one to ten, just so they can hear it from the horse's mouth, what, like, how important is marketing? Very, very important. Promote yourself. Promote, promote. Um, get on your Facebook page. Do videos of the bands traveling. Do Always have a post every day on there. What the band's doing. What their life of touring, what they're doing. Something. Always connect with your fans because that's what they want. Okay. That's what fans want. Yeah, they want to feel like they're a part of something. That's what everybody in the world. Well, wants. if a band gets a hold to me, it's like, hey, I, I, I'm from so and so. Would you? First thing I do is I go and see how many likes they got on Facebook. Then I go on their YouTube page and see how long it's been and how many followers and how long it's been. And they do updates. And normally, if they don't show that they've done and shared, I don't book them. Yeah. Because if they're not going to take your time to do that, how I know you what you're going to draw me at the door? Right, right. Mm-hmm. So I've got burnt like that when I started. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I, I've learned. <laughs> right. Rachel, you got anything? Well, I, I had questions about, like, artists and stuff, but I guess you can't really sit here and name drop some of them. Well, I was going to say, like, what's the... What's one that is the biggest now? You mean, like, local or a signing mm-hmm. band? Signing band that you've dealt with, and now they're... They've taken off. <sighs> Um, okay, for instance, um, years ago it was this metal band called the Convalescents. Mm-hmm. And you know, of course they got all the makeup and all that. They came to Tennessee and they started getting fans from here. Now they're signed and they're on tour and on festivals. So that's one right, right on. there I can say that I introduced them to Nashville. Right on. So That's what's up. Yeah. Now, now I know that, and, and they'll vouch for that. They're really good people. They look scary as shit when they got all that stuff on, but they are the most humblest people and appreciative that I've ever come across, so it's great. That's they don't take things for granted. So okay. Good. Mm-hmm. Um, when working with an act, do you, like, like get them, uh, say they need, like, Jack Daniels before a show or something like that, you get them? That, if that's it's like in their writer... I have to honor that rider. Okay. Yeah, that's I've had the, the weirdest writer. shit. 
on a rider before. Mm-hmm. Right. Different, different. Say it, say it, say it. Oh my God. I had to do um, uh, certain type of waters. I had to have fresh uh, white towels for the shower. Um, wow. I had to have um, uh, a certain grape, but they wanted grapes with no seed in it. They wanted me at first to get the seed out for them. Oh, have no. somebody to, yeah. It, it, it was, yeah. Um, a a box of Twizzlers. I had one. I wanted a box of Twizzlers one time. I thought that was crazy. Uh, I do have a band. They did a big joke on me, though. Um, they're called Roses on Red. They're from Jackson. Awesome, awesome band. They're about this close to being signed. Mm-hmm. I booked them. Never met them before. And they said, okay, we. this is what we want. They got a guarantee. And they said, we don't like. We want M&Ms, but we don't like the green ones. I didn't question. I picked all the green ones out. Oh. And at the very end, it was a joke. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I've been oh, every, here for forever. The t- and I did. I took every damn green M&M. Wow. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. Dedication. But no, he, That's commitment right there. I, you know, you don't. I just wanted to prepare you because you're going to start working with hip hop acts and everything that the requests are going to. Well, be. sometimes I'll counter offer. If I think it's just ridiculously stupid, I'm like, look, dude, really? Me, me in the I, middle, yeah. Yeah, like some of them want hotel. No, I'm not putting hotels in my name for bands to be in the hotel. Yeah, Think about what happens in a hotel. Right. I'll, I, it's called a buyout. I just give them the buyout money for the hotels, and they can go get their own. Ah, uh, okay. So well, I don't. I ain't going to be responsible for nothing. <laughs> well, let me jump in here for TV just TV showing second, out yeah. the window, you know, writing on the wall. I don't know what goes on in them. Like, <laughs> I don't think your hip-hop artist is going to tear the shit up as bad as your metal artist. You know what I mean? Most of the time... When all the acts that I've been on tour with, when it came time for the hotel, like they they smoke in there, they chill, they had groupies in there. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I will say this to defend the metal. Back in the day, yes. Now it's not like that. Everybody's on their cell phone in the green room or watching TV or playing Nintendo. Uh, I had an Xbox hooked to ours in our green room. They don't, they're not, they're more chill now. Now, the, probably the new ones that come out, the young ones. Right. To get fame quickly. Yeah, they go and blow money and put half their income up their nose and just shit like that. But they learn. Right. But, you know, but I, I deal with people my age or a little bit younger, like 20s to what? So, you know, I don't yeah. want to go through that. You don't hear much of that Motley Crue day. Right. <laughs> oh, anyway. dirt. I yeah, love that movie. I watched it three times. So yeah, believe it, back really? then it was because I dirt. went backstage with a couple Netflix. It's a Netflix. You ain't the seen the Motley Crue. And Machine Gun Kelly is in it. And yeah. That's why I love oh, what? it. What are you talking about, dude? That documentary. Uh-huh. I feel like like okay. In that week, I watched the Queen documentary. That I was good. The, the Queen Mo- was so The Motley Crue yeah. one. And I watched one more. I want to say, but to me. You know, the Motley Crue went straight to Netflix, but it was more entertaining to me than the Queen one. Like, the Queen one was very serious, and it was like... I were, cried at the end of the Queen. Right. I went but to the theaters and seen that. I, I feel, haven't seen it yet. What? I Is know. What? 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 Oh, the Queen. I even know you're going to the Queen. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knows who Queen is. I got to watch that, too. Here's my thing. I believe that the Motley Crue documentary... I think more bands documentaries should be fun like that. It was a fun documentary. You know, it was a documentary movie, excuse me. I keep saying documentary. It was a fun movie about the band. You know, it wasn't, it didn't drag they out. They pushed the envelope much. and just let everybody know. They didn't hold nothing back. Right. And I think that's what people respected more about them. They didn't act like something they wasn't. Right. They said, screw it, I'm going to do it. And they're like, hell, people like them more when they did bad things than they did yeah. good things. Okay. Yeah. Well, That's it's like I works. watched an interview and it was Mach- Machine Gun Kelly and then uh, two of the other members. And look, it, as you watch this podcast, you'll realize that Machine Gun Kelly is my future husband and <laughs> anybody else does not matter. Um, except for my current old man. Sorry, hun. Um, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, mm. I'm going to hear about that later. Mm, mm. <laughs> but they were she talking about. She wants a hall pass. Were, yes, I need a hall pass. Uh oh. But they were uh, given the scripts, and then they would go meet with like Tommy or Nikki. Um, all, they all of them had a part in the writing. Yeah, yeah and so they would great. meet with it and be like, "All right, so how did you feel in that moment? Like, 
how would you have sounded? Like, did you sound mad when you said this? So they actually showed, um, they were talking about the scene in the movie where uh, Kells is running through the hallway and like stripped in his yeah, yeah. boxers. And he's just, so they're talking about that. And I mean, yeah, they pretty much just ran free with it. And it was fucking awesome. Yeah. They said that the hotel bills and the damage they did oh, yeah, was, was fucking crazy. ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, I could have only imagined. I would love that. to live a life like that, just just for like a month, though. See, I went on tour for a week, and that shit was demanding. <laughs> it demanded a lot out of you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And like, the people I was on tour with, like I could have been dead in the floor, and they'd have left me there. So that's what I didn't like about it. Yeah. I had, you know, I had like ten thousand dollars worth of video equipment I was hauling. And, like, I remember I sat in the airport for six hours one day. Just sitting there waiting on them to come get me. Right. You know, I didn't know, I didn't know where I was going. because So I couldn't get a taxi. And this is before Uber. Yeah. Uh, is, yeah. I mean, even if Uber, where am I going to tell them to go? You know, I'm uh, going to get an Uber. I'm going to be like, hey, find, find so-and-so. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's not going to work. So, but it was cool for the most part. Groupies are real. That was kind of weird in a way. But uh Shout out the groupies. <laughs> Do you have to deal with dirty groupies? Um, when I had saving Abel, um <laughs> this one chick tried to um sneak around and we had to have like the bicycle racks in front because that's what they yeah. called for. They wanted space. She kept going around and getting and she reached up and grabbed Scotty Austin's ankle. I thought I was oh my god. I thought I was going to lose it. Yeah. If that was Kevin Gates, he'd have kicked her in the face. Yes. Well, I'm the one who escorted her out the door. Yeah. I did that because, you know, I had to watch. But she was sneaky. And it's just amazing what women are like. Oh, I'm with the band. I'm with this. And then they'll go down to the green room. They'll be like, who the hell is that? I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, whoa, you need to go. <laughs> right. Like, woo. Yeah. Some of them would do that. Or especially the front door. Yeah. To the, to pay. I'm going to tell you right now, y'all need to support local people pay to go see these shows if it's five or ten dollars you can't pay ten dollars and you want to call me for a favor hey will you put me on the list hell no right. i'm not if you can't pay ten dollars for a local show for three good bands then this don't come yeah stay home you yeah. know yeah watch the live stream from your friend's phones yep. <laughs> yeah watch the live yeah. stream from your friends it's yeah. just not as good <laughs> just being there it's just a local scene and just a lot of people want something for free Right, yeah. right. Oh, yeah. and that's that what's killing us so these true. days. Well, another yeah, thing that kills, and, or they won't drive longer than thirty minutes, or if it's raining, they won't come out to see the show. I, if that's somebody I want to see, rain, sleeters, so I'm out. Right now, right. if it's a damn tornado a mile away, I get it. Right. But you know, I don't care. I'll go out pouring rain if I want to go see a band. I want that's right. a, that's what you call support. Right. You know. Yeah, I um, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Somebody chime in and save me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the guys I was on tour with, th- there was one night we were leaving Nashville. I'd never seen anything like this. Tour buses are fun, ain't they? No, they had a 15 passenger van. They didn't have a bus. Oh, oh yeah. you've never been on a tour bus truck? Oh. Yeah, well, let me tell you, <laughs> it went down on this 15 passenger van, too. So I'm filming them leaving the, the venue, like, you know, all dramatic style and stuff. And the girls see them loading in the 15 passenger van. So here they come, you know. And the dude closes the 15 passenger van door. Then he opens it, stands up, and he says, No bitches are getting on this van if they're wearing pants. And I have never seen so many women kick their pants off in the streets of Nashville, just kick them off and leave them. Now, the most disgusting part about this whole thing was not that the groupies dropped their pants and jumped in this van with these guys. It was after they pulled off, there was another group of women that were fighting over the groupies' pants in the street. Oh. They were fighting trying to steal the pants. Oh, my God. Yes. That's a whole that's nother level scandalous. of slow. Yo, that's some scandal. You, tra- you don't even know if that bitch pants fit, but yeah. y'all fighting over them. You know? That's crazy, How do you man. Have the bottoms? I'm gonna take these. Hey, they were snatching back and forth. The next thing I know, they were fighting. Pop, 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 pop. I was like, 
God. They fighting in no, the streets I... over the pants that, that the other the bitches dropped. That that are now in the van. Yes. Yes. To, and they're getting ready to, to be nasty. Yes. They're doing the nasty. Yeah, yeah doing wow. the nasty. Wow. Well, wow. Uh-uh. Yeah, it was. I uh, heard him get famous. Uh. <laughs> oh, don't you dare. Yeah, <laughs> don't you dare. Don't get things that Ajax can't come off. Oh, have Lord. You, uh, have you ever had somebody request a midget? Or no. A stripper? N- no. That would be nice, though. No. Well, who that podcast goes on? I'm not on, scared of them, but they kind of freak me stripper. out. I'm terrified of clowns. Yeah? It, we we oh, want whoa. a little person dressed as a clown. I should have never told you that. <laughs> no, you should Oh, my God. I, I should have never told you that. a little person dressed as a clown. Look, everybody, dre- yeah. them clown people, they're just pedophiles. They dress up like that just i can't no pedophiles. look to my clown crowd i apologize i cannot condone y'all being pedophiles because y'all are clowns well i love Gacy insane clown posse I, I get it but like going to circuses and them kind of i don't know yeah. well, it's a profession of everybody the reason i ask and it just popped back in my head because there is extreme midget wrestling that's at going Shooters? on in Murfreesboro. Oh, in Murfreesboro? Yeah. We're at in a... Extreme midget wrestling. <laughs> it is. What's, what was the regular two? Of them? Let's see. They weren't doing enough? <laughs> <laughs> they were doing in Murfreesboro. It doesn't effort. say It's not in Murfreesboro. It can't be. There's not one big half enough speed. for them. <laughs> yeah. It says in Murfreesboro, but it doesn't say... Midget wrestling. It, no, it's I, extreme I had, midget wrestling. I had, I had bought tickets when they were supposed to be in Columbia. They were supposed to be at uh, what's now the Columbia Inn in that hall. And then they ended up canceling that show. Something happened. They canceled it. And they refunded everybody their money, which was cool. I see where mm-hmm. I can you know, see. But, yeah. I was going to go. they got a new place. No, I want, I want to see some extreme midget wrestling. Running running Main Any Street music who's, who for t- I haven't really been to a very much. There might be a new place, place there that opened big enough for them like to, to have that. Button no, to make sure so that we can going. go see some extreme midget wrestling. Right. <laughs> the warehouse has stuff like that too. I think. Hey, look! It's twenty dollars general admission. If you buy it at the door, it's twenty five dollars. It's thirty dollars for ringside, and it's forty for VIP. What what do you think would happen to like a six year old that saw extreme midget wrestling? Would that affect them in a weird way? Because I want to. No, let me tell you. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I have, I have a. Are we even supposed to say midget? Is it little people? Little people. Hey, okay. look, that poster said midget, and they're okay with it. Okay, well, look, look, I have a little okay, person so friend. <laughs> And I brought him around Man Man. Yeah. And Man Man was kind of, and this was like a year or two ago, Man Man was kind of thrown off for a minute. And then I was like, Man Man, that's an adult. You can't play with him like a kid. And he was just kind of like, oh. Are you sure? Yeah, like he just was very confused. So, I mean, you might want to talk to him just a little bit. You know, give him some pregame. I wouldn't even pregame him. No, you just want to drop it's, it in his life. <laughs> just like let him be in the front row. And he just looks up at me like, where, where are we? Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's this is a child's on? fighting ring. <laughs> You're next Underground. up. Underground. Right? <laughs> wow. I'm like horses. Like like but I don't want a box. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think I know any any little people friends. I don't think I know. I've them. got two I know. Yeah. I if you ever need them, them, let me know. They're down to work. I would, I would love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, the only Sorry. one that I know that's, like, famous, other than your obvious, like, mini-me, stuff like that, is Bridget the Midget. Oh, yeah? Have you met Bridget? I have not met Bridget the Midget, but it is on my bucket list. I want to meet her and tell her that I'm What's the show fan. they got on her now, Midget, the, the little slut? Oh, Little Women. Little Women. God. Yeah. I watched that for the last ten minutes one time, and I'll tell you what. There's a <laughs> they, that one with the blonde hair. Good lord, she's feisty. Yeah, I you mean know, like the one that sounds like she's Russian. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one. I was like, oh my god. So look, I'm gonna ask you guys one by one. Would you sleep with a midget one time, Brandon? And I couldn't. Couldn't. I couldn't. I guess I would get some hair from one. Of them. Oh my god. What's the yeah. point? That they mouth the size of everybody else's mouth. Like, what's the point in getting yeah. hair from a midget? No, because I would just like the. I, I'm a visual person, so I would just really get a kick out of like looking down and like with no kneeling or anything. She's just going at it. Yeah. Like, look at you just standing up on your wow. tippy toes, getting in. Like, and then she just... bites you, and then oh. you're screwed. So think about that. Don't piss See. a midget off, boy. I tell you right. what, they attack like little chihuahuas. Little but I don't think I could. That's like, what I just, heard. Like, what I'm, what I'm gonna do? You know what I mean? Carry you around the room? Like, I don't know. I don't know. You never know. It could have. It could be the most fire shit you ever had in your life. You I, doubt know. I, I doubt you it. You can't doubt it because you I, don't know. I doubt it. 
Look, I doubt it. And what about and, when and I let then, you? What about when I let you I, try spam the other day for the first that, time? That's completely different. No, it's not. You thought it was gonna be high garbage. Sex and spam are two different. Did things. you fry the spam? Part? I did. People think spam tastes so bad, and then when you fry that shit up, it is fire, and people don't even know. I it. Eat, I'm from the side. I eat fried bologna too, the thick cut. Bologna. Yes. Uh, Man, I want some fucking bologna now. Y'all st- just made me hungry. Well, yeah, went from pizza rolls to bologna podcast. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. <laughs> Rachel? Mom, cover your ears. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yes, that means this is a yes. Thank you know, I can, I can block her from the podcast. No, don't block my mom. <laughs> just just that, tune that, out for a minute. You come back. Right. Is your mom married? That means is she married? She is engaged. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. I will not continue for with like that joke. seven years. Oh. oh. He needs to step up. Oh, oh no, no, no. We're not doing that to her no, mom. No, no, no. no. Maybe it took... <laughs> I don't think it's been that long, but it took him seven years to propose to my mom. Oh, so they have been going. Oh, okay. We're going like double or nothing. He needs to step up. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, okay, I'll shut her up and put a ring on this. So now she's good. She's good. Shout out to my uh, stepdad, because that's what I'm going to call you anyway, because you've been in my life for way too long now. Is he a good man? Yeah, he's great. Like, he used to stand up for me, like, when she'd be like, I don't know where she's at. He's like, she's grown she's, she's like grown. 18 she's wherever she wants right. to be she's okay <laughs> mm-hmm. it's fine well back to the 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 matter oh the matter at hand yeah mom now really tune out um it might be a little person no but he, but he, but he no did. i don't i don't think i could you didn't answer oh i'm fucking a midget oh my god it's on the bucket See, list I know, but I, y'all I, can I know. y'all can because I like, don't, I can. no well this you is, don't know what a midget's part is like. You don't know if it's a big, a little, if it hops, skips, or jumps. You don't know. I now, don't know, what if it's and a I don't want to know. But he, got a, but he got a big, you know what I'm saying? He he he, he working with something. Unless it's such a that recap. I, mean, I don't think I don't, that'd be that, that difficult. For, <laughs> yeah, that's not yeah. even a challenge. Like, for yeah, a midget. So but that, here's the thing. is that For guys, it's easier because he can just like, you know, she can get on top and he can just like a baby bow, 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 bow. I but. mean that nigga he could <laughs> look he could suit up and climb in that bitch and no, he could he, he can, can come just, through no. he's just like let me find a camera he can buy this the camera. strap on things and hook her to it and carry her around his waist push his way yeah. in that bitch and <laughs> yeah man he'll put some on you we're already setting you up I dude. Have, I don't know. Uh, shout out to one of my co-workers I did recently watch for the first time a major having sex with a actual size woman on stage Did with you a mask on and uh the thing is when you went doggy style well you'll get him doggy style and he'll just stand on the back of your legs <laughs> oh shut the fuck <laughs> up go. I can't. There you go. I can't. Like, he'll stand like on the back of your cat. Thanks for that visual that I will. Um, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm ruined now. Look, hey, Thanks. he'll stand on the back of your calf. So then that's like his step stool. So then he's high enough to, you know what I mean? Okay. Boom. But look, I just. He'll stand on the back of them calves and change your world. No. <laughs> and then you just kicking your calf. <laughs> Call that the, the supercharger. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, mom. <laughs> I hope she left before this. <laughs> I'm just gonna block her. I really yeah, hope she just... left. No, I don't, I don't block my mom. If she's gonna have something to I say, don't... it's all right. I'm going to stay with my old man tonight, so I won't see her. Yeah, give it like a 48 hour buffer before you go home. It's gonna be longer than that, man. Oh gosh. So, so with a with a with a midget with a with a little person or whatever, uh, like because they're so compact, like on the on the females and stuff, like on them little women shows. Like they ass look bigger. Should we count that as actual? Like that's a that's, you got a nice ass on you, or is that just you just because you compact and ain't got that much like room? Okay, to now look. This is my thing because too. Because my homeboy be trying like, to tell me that man, you know, man, she got a fat I ass. Feel, she has to have a fat ass. There's no like, what do you mean? <laughs> right, that's the only <laughs> ass she can have. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's an illusion. Like you're talking about because they're compact, it looks bigger. Just like we were talking about earlier. It's them heels. I don't think she's had anything done to her butt. I think it's just her wearing those heels. And because con- when con- I showed you that picture, she mm-hmm. was in tennis shoes and she was just flat. Now, I, I can't figure your legs and things like that when you have heels. Your calves and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So it does make you look like that. And then I if think. you're already Because you walk different. Like that. You walk different with the heels. So mm-hmm. I can see that. Yep. Hmm. So what about you? 
Hell no. No? No midgets? No. So. No. No, no. clowns either? No. No. A midget clown? Uh-uh. A I'm, midget clown. Oh, my God. Uh, so what is, what, is your, what is your type of man then? If it ain't a midget, what do you prefer? Whoa, that's a vast <laughs> other. You know, uh, me, I can't right. answer for every woman. I, I can't really. You got to have your shit together because I'm not paying for your shit. Right, right. I <laughs> am. I, I am. The fact that he made Self-sufficient, it sound like it not got my shit together, got my own stuff. <laughs> I'm not paying for nobody's stuff. You know, what, Have a job, a sense of humor. <laughs> right. Um, you can't be jealous because of what I do. Right. But I have to be around somebody. If it clicks, you, I can tell. And it could, right. you know, I'm not shallow, so it just really depends on how I interact with you. Because you could be good looking, but you could be the narcissist, stuck up asshole, and, and be ugly on the outside. Yeah, or you just know? not like talk to. Like, you don't click. Right. And you're just like, man, you look good, but as soon as you open your mouth. Yeah, it's just... like, damn, that's a damn shame, too. Yeah. <laughs> as soon right. as you went, you eh, you're so done. so pretty, but so stupid. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I've come across some musicians that are freaking, oh, my God. But as soon as, dumb. I mean, like, rocks. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, rocks. I mean, like, well, when singers or singers, they usually come <clears throat> last because they're lead and they know. And then they, they usually, you know. They hop two or three bands if it don't work out. They're somewhere else. And, yeah. You know. They're lead, so they're, they they come in when they want to. And yeah. they're all, you know, hey, cater to me. Look at me. Yeah. Singer That's shows up five minutes before they go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are the ones that normally ask. <laughs> <laughs> they were the yeah. ones. Oh, did you do that? Sure. If I booked right. you and you did that, I would. Whoa. Oh, my Lord. Mm-mm-mm. And this when was, I say it's load in, everybody comes at the same time. This, this is our first time really getting a good live like <laughs> stream like this. And my nigga just dropped the ball all the way. <laughs> like I was like, I can't wait to start this. We're gonna get the welcome to the mothership bitches. Everything gonna be good. Nope. And he is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Expect nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Expect nothing. <laughs> I was like, I told them beforehand, I was just like I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to start. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're just going to have to fucking start. It'd be I don't know. Right. It'd be okay. The show must go on. Yeah. So I'm, glad, I'm glad y'all kept on going. But yeah. It kind of worked I out because we had four good. mics, you know, and everybody is was suited up on a mic. So it was kind of different than what we're used to, but it Still worked. worked though. Yeah, it worked. Still it worked. So... I'm used to getting my mind together while you're going through your beginning rant, and I, you know, uh, I didn't have my mind yeah, together at straight all. Into it. Yeah, I was like, son of a bitch. Yeah, I see, that. <laughs> see, you gotta be ready, so, man. Yeah, yeah. So, is there anything else you'd like to uh, tell us before we uh, end the cast? Well, like I said, being here on this, um, people you know down here. Hey, you want to Amber. Hit me up and I want to venture out and start booking some things down here. We okay. can work together on some stuff. And okay. Well, guys. Let's get this. Just try it. Yeah. I want to get the ball rolling. Guys, um, ball you heard her. She is looking for new hip hop talent to start booking. She's looking for. I'm my demo. Yeah, she's looking for all kinds of. And I've got some ideas for her, too, that I am interested in pitching to her. So one day we'll sit down and we'll do that. Um. Yo, when we get this uh this new Volkswagen that the uh the supporters are gonna donate for us to get, we need to link up with you so we can do uh, a tour of live podcast. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we wanna go on the road and kinda do do that yeah. a little bit in Thank time. Thank you, Amber. What what, what, what did I gorgeous miss? Lady. Oh, okay. Oh. You wanna well, see more of her up close, you hit that donate button. Right, uh, <laughs> Amber sh- look, shout out to Amber. Amber and um and Danielle, the two two people that I work with, and they're probably the only people I trust there. <laughs> no, they are. You know what I mean? But Amber was super cool. She was super welcoming when I got to my new job when I was there. So shout out to Amber. You know, I appreciate everything you've done. Thank you. I haven't been to work. I've been out of work. I, I had major surgery. Oh, yeah? And really? I've been out, yeah. Um, I'm cancer free. I had cancer. Right now. Right on. And it's gone. So I go back to work August 6th. I've been in at home stir crazy. I mean, and yesterday was the first time I got to drive. And, of course, I had my show. And it was great. I felt like, uh, you know, the Greyhound. It's released and they're running because you opened the door. <laughs> That's how I felt yesterday. But it was good to be out. I'm healing up great. So Good. 
schools. I threw that out there because I've been, all yesterday, everybody's been coming to me. I've cried on and off, you know, because I've been dealing with it for like a year. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So, so was it, tell me a little bit about that battle before we get out of here. Then. Um, I mean, we're all adults here. I had cancer cells all over my uterus, and mm-hmm. they started to get progressing right. and spreading, so they did a hysterectomy, pretty much. Yeah. Got so. you right, though? Yeah, I'm good. Beautiful thing, I'm man. Good. I lost my father to cancer. So I've been there on the other end of that, you know, from the outside looking in. That's a tough battle. And then the the methods. But here's the thing about cancer, though. They've turned it into a business. Yeah. And I don't fucking like that. At well, not one. They're trying bit. to profit off something they're really never going to find a cure. Yeah. The only thing that has slowed down and has proven within animals and people is CBD oils. Oh wow. Well. THC. That right Dr. there will Sebi. slow it. It won't cure it, but it will slow the growth. Dr. I'm telling Sebi. you. It really will. Dr. Sebi cured cancer in the uh, 1980s. You think so? No, he did it. It's, it's proven in Supreme Court records. He went to the Supreme Court and proved it. Huh. We gonna, we'll save that for another day. I've got I've got a drug rep that wants to come on here. I we'll bring them. Yeah. Sorry. They don't. They Sorry. deny. That's why they won't automatically come out and uh, say, yeah, that will, because they'll, they'll lose business. The right. Companies lose just, money. Yeah. Yeah, I have lose a book money. right now. So they can't do it. I'm not going to put the name of the book out there, but it has to cure the diabetes, I a, cancer, and HIV. I had a friend of mine's dog um, had cancer, and he Switched gave it oils. He lived for eight more months, and mm-hmm. he was supposed to have died, like, way. And then he got eight more months out of it wow. to give him oils. If he would have learned about it sooner, he would have lived a lot save longer. Save that puppy's life. Yeah. Yeah, it will. Josh Turner, Mr. Clean, thank you. Thank Mr. you Clean. for... Uh, the comment i need you guys to go up up it should be up over here somewhere or over there and there's a link donate to keep you us keep us afloat button. here yes, <laughs> yes. So. we're trying to get a volkswagen van josh <laughs> by the way my mama said congratulations she just had a hysterectomy not too long ago too so oh she congrats. knows yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. so well Thank you for coming on. Well, thank you for inviting me and let me come here to expand things and try new things and have me as your guest. I appreciate it. Yeah, you have to come back. Um, you get some, if you get, uh, put us in rotation with uh, with your promotional stuff. Be like, hey, I can get you on a podcast. It gets about 300 downloads an episode. And, um, 3,000. Well, with 300, right? I ain't gonna bullshit them. No, no, I'm speaking positive. Oh, <laughs> and you know, put them in rotation, you know. So, especially for this area, we've got a lot of locals that come in and you know, watch and stuff. So, it's just been really cool. Good, we're pretty yeah. good. I'll so, do that. Yeah, you know, I think everybody needs to help each other scratch your bitch bite. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Help promote yeah. each other. It has, you know. I'll put your stuff on my page. I'll do whatever to help anybody. Right. It all works internally. And I expect the same. But, you know, if you don't exactly. do it, that's okay because it makes me feel better that I know I did something. Right. Yep. That's all that matters. <laughs> yep. Contributed to the cause. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. yeah. So. I try to stay home. Yeah. <laughs> Were you just watching a twerk video? I was. <laughs> I look over and all I see is ass jiggling. Shout out to twerk videos. They made a good comeback this year. Uh, 2019 is the year of the twerk. The twerk. So, shout out to you. Uh, guest, can you twerk? Uh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get the camera back on. You can't twerk? I don't have a J Lo ass, okay? You don't need a J Lo ass to twerk. Look, you're going to start running with hip hop bags. You better know how to be lying throw that ass. I got some fluffy to jingle. Look, that's how you go close some of your deals. Be like, if you sign this contract, I'm going to give you two minutes of twerking. That's what you got to Welcome to the hip hop community. Hey, like, you know, I usually don't do this, but. Uh, yeah. Let me sign this little contract, see what you got. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go with so and so, but you Maybe do that little twerking in there. So I'm, I'm really interested. Let's so. see. Let's see. <laughs> this might pay off. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel, you a twerker? Ridiculous. Can you twerk? I mean, I'm not going to ask you to twerk because uh-uh. your mom's on here. But. Thank you. Oh, because yeah. she heard the midget sex conversation. I think you can. You can, can't you? Uh, I can. Uh-huh. Yeah. What, what, what does she of think? Many talents. I'm you not, I'm not even going to make her do it, Mom. You look so. like a twerker. I, you know, I can tell. Oh, I, you can I do think. pole dancing. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, she there. knows how to twerk. Mm. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. 
Well, y'all, I surely appreciate it. Everybody watching. Um, you know, our guest, I'm showing her here now. Wave to the crowd. There you go. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anything you got before we're going to go, Brandon? Um, uh, well, we had somebody that wanted us to talk about the Blade uh, movie. Uh, oh, the reboot? Yeah, the reboot. Yeah. How so, you feel about that? I think it's awesome. I is think it going to have Wesley Slimes in it? No. What? I'm not but, watching it. No, but wait. But who is the actor, Brandon? Mahershala Ali. Do you know who that is? That's uh, Muhammad Ali's... Uh, no. Is it? No, it's no. not. Hey, it's, it's not Ken Lamar. No? No. <laughs> hell, I don't good know. guess. Uh, hey, I tried. That's a good guess. I got effort. Give me some voice for I love how it just rolled out too. Shit. You know who that is? Yeah. <laughs> Shut shit. up. Shit, I got this. He's uh, what you call it. You know what teach me things. Okay? Yeah. Just teach me things. Yeah. Well, uh, Marshall, uh, shout out, shout out to, to him. He's a two time uh, Oscar winner. He's the one that played. Didn't he play in Green Book? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's the one that played in Green Book. You see, I love it? that. Yeah, yeah, I the, that, that guy's gonna be Blade. Love that yeah, he's gonna be Blade, be Blade. which is is cool. Yeah. And I, I feel like he has that intense face, you know what I mean, yeah. forward and everything. Yeah, but man, and, Wesley uh, Snipes is the shout man. Shout out to the, the Patrick. Um, he's one of uh, the listeners and everything. He he also commented earlier and said that uh, he's he's a three hundred pound man that had sex with a midget and it was pretty average. It wasn't that good, but. He he's very excited about it. Me and him had a long talk uh, about like what what that could do to the, the the franchise, the whole genre of Blade and everything. Being able to put a, a Oscar winner in that, you know, what I mean, in that role, they can probably get uh, deeper when it comes to his story, his background. You right. know, Blade might have a crying scene or something. I hope not. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> well, here's what I like about it. what I like about dude is he's a bad guy in so many movies that he already Luke knows Cage. how to be Luke Cage. He was a bad guy in Alita Battle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's been a bad guy in so many. He's already got that dark edge. He's been working on that his whole career. Mm -hmm. and, but you he know? also has a sensitivity because both both of his roles he got uh, Oscars for, he'd be played a gay man. Yeah. So he yeah. knows how to, he, he's a very well-versed, balanced actor. So I think he'll be able to bring a new life to it. Right. Um, I feel like Wesley Snipes should definitely get a little bit more credit for what he did with the Blade series because when Marvel wasn't popping before they had the X-Men going and shit. Blade, Blade carried them. Blade carried the hell out of them. Yeah. So this reboot, I think, is a little bit overdue. And what yeah. people don't know, and y'all, you probably do, but some people don't know that Wesley Snipes is in martial arts. I mean, yeah. he is high up there. So all that oh, stuff yeah. he does, that's it's really him. Right. That's really him. I mean, he knows it all, and he is a badass. He can really fuck you up. Like, John claude Van Damme might not be all the way there, but Wesley Snipes and Steven Seagal, both of these men are dangerous in real life. Mm -hmm. And, of uh -huh. course, the great Chuck Norris. Look, you you tested me, nigga. Yeah, you tested hey, me. I hey. told look. He's a hater, yo. A few episodes ago, I told him I felt like Chuck Norris and Wesley Snipes had overrated careers, and that they weren't very. Are good we actors. going back to this conversation? No, 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 no. Why, 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 why would you think said. that? <sighs> Have you ever watched Walker Texas Ranger? Yeah. Listen, to this, you I, thought I really that you out. thought that was good acting. Yeah. I mean, back when I was watching it, I didn't. Now looking at it, yeah. Tell, tell, <laughs> him, the, tell him the acting quality that had nothing to do with it. it was about now back seeing, down, that's what you would get back in that time. Walker yeah. and Cordell, well, windmill kicked the hell out of eight people in a row, and none of them jumped in. They all took turns just getting kicked. But I one think at, Chuck was scared to get his face messed up. Well, he didn't want to get hurt doing the. Same. I uh, think nah. he was just a pretty boy. He don't want to get hurt. Yeah, no, nah, he has that 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 beard. That beard is is worth billions of dollars. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Before I knew exactly who Chuck Norris was, all I can do is think about him doing the fitness like late night infomercial. Oh, the yes. one that uh, yes, uh, all I can think about. The total fit, the total gym. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. That's it. Total that's gym. Get in contact with me. Oh my God. Have your people get in contact with my people too. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid watching you. them work out. I, them I am them his people. Warmer. Call me. Yeah, they're, they're, they're oh. <laughs> who, who, who he's referring to is I. Yes. <laughs> me, I am them people. <laughs> my all time favorite. I want a hot. Well, I don't have a, a. I'm single, so I don't have to have a hall pass, but Vin Diesel. Oof. Hey. Hey, my God. <gasps> Chronicles are ready. You like, you like I like movie? anything he's in. That's what I'm talking about. I, All right. 
he could just stand there and not say shit. And I'd be like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have to say, just stand there and look just pretty. That's there. all I care about. And you're buying a ticket in 3D, huh? Oh my <laughs> I don't want God. that IMAX. So, so let me throw this out here then. Um, <laughs> Vin Diesel or The Rock? Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, Vin Diesel <clears throat> or The Rock? Look, for me, it's not even like a toss up. Like, it's The Rock. I, all the, day. Every his Hawaiian day. ass. Oh, my God. He's. He is hot. Uh, Dwayne <laughs> Johnson. Ass. Well, he is. He's a. Uh, he's from Hawaii. Samoan. Samoan. Well, yeah, they're from Hawaii. Yeah. Samoan, yeah. Right. Hey, but he's actually from Nashville. I thought he's from Miami. The Rock. The yes. Rock is not from Nashville. He's. I thought he was from Miami. Wait a minute. I'm going to Google this. Cause oh, here's he your, said he, something. I'm yeah, I'm here's on your, Here's your look up, girl. She can Woo! find out. Just yeah, give her yeah, just yeah. a second. Look, y'all. I am putting a poll up for the ladies right now. Vin Diesel or The Rock? Mm. Publish the poll now. Well, nowadays with, with, with everything going on, I think they're going to go with The Rock. It was a few years ago. I think Vin Diesel would have won in a landslide. Well, now now they're doing the Fast and Fear the Fast Nine or what? Nine. Yeah. They're filming that right now. Yeah. And uh, and I follow him on Instagram. Well, the other day he had a birthday, and they gave him the the production the the, the movie gave him a car, the, one of the cars for his birthday. Wow. And it was on Instagram about it. it was so. Oh freaking yeah, cool. he got Did like you a sixteen hundred mile per hour like like charge. Sixteen hundred miles per hour. It has a, it a horsepower. <laughs> I was like sixteen. <laughs> yeah, 1, I was like this nigga in the De- Delorean. <laughs> we ain't back uh, to the future power. now, man. Right. <laughs> Sorry. All right, girl. Yeah. Come on, it was my- Wikipedia, and I don't trust it. Well, see, that's so that's Josh crazy. Turner said he played college football in Miami. Yeah, because he was a football player. Oh, where's he from? I don't, I don't know. I'm he waiting to play college football, man. The Rock said 100% of this poll, though. But that's only one person to vote it. I, okay. Well, come, <laughs> on, come on, man. They're in the closet. Go ahead and vote. He attended high school in Nashville. So he went to McGavick and Glencliff. Shut oh, the fuck up. Shit. Wow. I'm an Antioch girl. I don't know if I should say that. Be proud, but. Oh. You know, they got, what, Brentioc now? That's like Brentwood, Antioch. That's how they're trying to bump yeah. the, well, the shit back Antioch. up. You know, Blue I, yeah. I think we Spanioc. got another vote. The Rock is Hispaniac. Oh, is that the new, the new name for them now? <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, girl. I mean, they built it right there in, what, Smyrna? Yeah. Why are you call it Antioch? Look, it's my Nana, like, you, you said Smyrna. When she says it, she does not say it. She says Smyrna. Smyrna? Smyrna. Smyrna. She's, she's the, from Smyrna. Smyrna? Yeah, I never. Ate, I'm. I She's like, it. yeah, we're going down there to Smyrna. Smyrna. Like, there's a, there's not an R. <laughs> there's no, <laughs> there's no R in Smyrna. Smyrna. <laughs> That's like country folks when they say cute, they go croot. That's croot. What? Yeah, yeah, they like, croot. Did you croot. say country folks say that? Yes, yeah, country I black folks. I've never said I that. Think, I country think. black <laughs> folks. Country black folks. I was okay. like, don't pull me into this. Cause I've never <laughs> said it. No, 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 no. So. Sometimes I get because I'm so thick and. In mm-hmm. it, I'll yeah. get talking real fast if I'm yeah. whatever. And then one time they go, you know who you sound like? I'm like, who? Boomhauser. When you get pissed uh, off, I'm like, oh get my out of here. Uh, I'm like, do not compare me to Boomhauser. But uh, I didn't know who the hell I was. I never seen what is it? The king? Of, what was it? King of the hill. King of the hill. It's Boomhauser. Yeah. So that, then I watched it after I was told that, and I'm like, oh my god. So, I you talk so come fast come when I get dang pissed. Dang old man or something. You, come on, man. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. <laughs> Look, that's what I sound like when I'm drunk, tired, or mad. Where are oh, my yeah. slurs you when get, you're drunk? <laughs> no, like, I get back. I'm like, what y'all doing down there? Like, can I, what you doing? I want to be get more of that. <laughs> yeah, but it, like, all runs together. I don't be part of that down there doing that. In one breath, and you don't stop. Okay, I get it. Yes. That's funny. Throw me another glass, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know I could do Boom House so well. (laughs) The Rock is killing I should have never even said that. I sit there and just tell us. We're more than one vote now, and The Rock is still winning by a landslide. Yeah, people ain't fucking. With Vin Diesel and I don't know. How many people have voted? Because it's just know. like one person for the rock. Hey. Uh, was it my mama? Mama, did you vote for the rock? <laughs> I, it won't let mom me see nothing. It won't let me see nothing. Mom got in on the votes. Yeah. My mom was like, I want to be- uh, go back and listen to the uh, stepdad conversation. And uh, then I was yeah. like, 
okay, well, when I tell you to tune out, tune out. She goes, no, I already heard the the uh, midget sex conversation. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, there it is. Did I stop it? Yeah, you stopped it. I'm so sorry. Look, I won't touch your phone. You don't touch my hood. Right, okay. Man. I'm sorry. It's yeah. over, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. He ruined it. My bad. Mm. Comment Vin Diesel or The Rock. Let us know in the comments. Close it out. <laughs> By the way, hi, baby. Sorry you're watching for once. Who? Oh, man. Yeah, oh, I don't, I've don't. i never met him because you don't come in the house. Come on in next time you swing by, Bubba. Shit, I want to meet you. Bring some fried bologna and some pizza rolls. Yeah. Hey, look, and he's got bologna right now, so he'll do it. <laughs> right, right. He's like, That's all you needed the whole time? Is fried bologna? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like I made a status earlier, and it's out. like, I'm happy with the person I'm in a relationship with. That's and good. then I was like, "Yep, yeah, we go together like bologna and cheese." Yeah. Oh, I I feel like bologna and eggs. I don't really like cheese on my bologna. Oh, I don't either. I like a good tomato it, on so it. I figured yeah. I'd throw it yeah. in there. Yeah, good tomato on it. Lettuce, <laughs> tomato. Oh, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Oh, we need to get some food. <laughs> yeah, I can just slice tomato, and put salt on we it. We need food. Like <laughs> if y'all don't want like your, uh, diesel, your host to starve, hit that donate button. Yes, we can get us. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna do the wide shot. I'm gonna click off. Yeah, we need donations for food, y'all. Hopefully, yeah, it doesn't uh, take DoorDash. Yes, somebody order us food. We have no donations. <laughs> no donations. Oh, I thought, like, yeah. Yeah, I thought he said no DoorDash. I'm like, I order from we DoorDash. Have DoorDash. I love it here. Yeah. I order DoorDash all the time. I, I, DoorDash. I should invest in that place. It's my yeah. job freaking order from it. I need to start using more of those apps like the Uber and Lyft and DoorDash. And I don't use any, I've never used any of those. Apps. Yeah. All because those things that make it easier. Look, I am. Somebody's at the door. Look, we said DoorDash and somebody did it. <laughs> did somebody order pizza for us? Yo, did one of the listeners order for us? That's did y'all hear my stomach growling? Is that I what really y'all did? I appreciate it, you did. Okay. Never mind. Never mind, it was Nene. It looked it's, like he had a slush in it. It's our pimping partner, Nene. <laughs> my bad. Oh, boy. I guess we probably should have told him to bring us something to eat. Man, hey, bro, let's cool. I'm going to definitely station. take a run for it. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, we got pulled over this week. Did you? Yes. Tell us about it. It was interesting. So, all right. I'm going to tell y'all the truth, okay? Because now I'm not on the side of the road and I can be honest. So, I was smoking some weed because I got off of work. And that's what you do when you get off of work. You get high. <laughs> so, I was getting high. I was in a car, and it was about 4.46. In the morning? No, p.m. Oh, okay. So I'm smoking, I'm smoking. And about 4.54, I got pulled over. So the smell, the word that he used was pungent. Pungent. <laughs> he, he's not only a cop, but he's a scholar. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he, he pulled me over, and I cracked the window like that much. And he was like, can you roll the window down some more? I'm, <laughs> I'm like, that. like I would be smart You should have wrote the other window down yeah. so it made like a draft. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give him any reason. Yeah. yeah. So he's sitting there and he was like, I I smell the strong aroma of marijuana. <laughs> Why don't you tell me where it is? I looked down like I don't know what you're talking about, sir. He was like, What I smell I like, no you don't. No, you don't smell it, you just I had I'm a like, skunk back there. Yeah. I and I started like I was like, man, I just got off work, man. Like, come on, just let me go home. You you just got on your your shift. You're bored and and you're you're fresh. You're good. You have time to waste. I'm trying to get to the house. He was like, well, I'm gonna search the car. I'm like, well, you know what? I need your sergeant out here because I don't think you actually smell it. So I need somebody else to you so, know, yeah, smell it. To to smell it. Yeah, I need the cosign on the exactly. weed. Exactly. So I need the sergeant because I know if you request a sergeant, then the sergeant has to come. Use that. Because as soon yeah. as he turned and he called for the sergeant, I grabbed the roach that was left yeah. and swallowed it. Oh. Big fat roach, too. Fat. A fat. A fat. A roach, people. <laughs> it will not the get you arrested. The doobie, to, it won't to get those that don't know. So I threw it back. Now I'm confident there's nothing in the car now. Yeah. Fine. And he was like, sorry, I need you to step out. So I'll definitely step out. I don't care. So as I'm chilling, the sergeant pulls up. Then, like, three other ones so there's five officers on scene and I'm just standing there getting higher because the roach is breaking down <laughs> rapidly right <laughs> so not only am I already freshly high but I'm getting higher I'm just standing there and like my eyes are just like and I just keep thinking to myself don't 
look anybody in the face. Yeah. And then after they didn't find anything, they each individually took turns coming up to me, looking me dead in the face. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so they, they all came up to me individually, was like, "All right, man, where's it? Look at, like man? your people. Where, yeah, they're yeah. like, where, "Where is it at? Where is it at?" I'm like, "I don't have anything. Where Gone. Is. I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, but what? when's the last time there was weed in the car?" I like, I don't smoke weed in the car. Because like, 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 that's illegal. Like, that's exactly what I said. Yeah, that's exactly. That's wow. I, like, I don't smoke because it's illegal. Yeah. And he was like, so you have a blunt effect spray bottle. You have three lighters in the car. And you have a, a, a pack of swishers with loose tobacco in it. And you don't smoke? No. No? <laughs> no not at all. Not at all. No, like, not at all. <laughs> and as I'm saying this, my eyes are just getting lower. I'm just like, not at all. I don't smoke ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brandon, might... have you not ever seen the video for Shut the Fuck Up Fridays? No. Oh, that's my grapple port. Yes. No. He's you need to watch podcast. the video so in case no. you go and get pulled over again. Look, just go search. I've been Go smart ass video. the whole time. Go search as soon as I swallowed the, the roach, like, I swallowed the roach, and my confidence went so so high up that my asshole like just kicked out. He was like, <laughs> "I got it from here. Don't even worry. We're not going to jail. I got it from here." Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And it was pretty cool though, and like because I had to like give him answers on everything, and I was just being a smart ass. He's like, "Why do you have the blunt effects?" I like it smells zesty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah. so, I would love to have been there. Yeah, he finally let me go, and but he did not like it. He was not happy. Yeah. He was not a happy camera. Then this stupid ass. Let me tell you what this stupid ass, stupid cop. Stupid, stupid, stupid. 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 Don't tell me this stupid ass shit, stupid. You sure you're supposed to have some that roach in you now? Yeah. <laughs> look, look, I might. I wish. <laughs> look, look at what this this stupid dumb ass stupid gonna say to me. If you honest with me, I will work with you. <laughs> How there is no up? working with you because I'm, I'm, I'm going to jail. Yeah. Like, I'm going. What do you I'm mean? Not, I'm not if helping I'm honest, you with anything. What? If I'm honest with you, you'll work with me. How, Scooter? How you gonna work with me? <laughs> how, do I, how do I not go to jail oh. if I'm if I tell you really I'm high as a kite right now? Right. Yeah, right. I looked at him with my low tilted eyes and was like, I do not smoke because it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my oh God. shit! That's funny. Nah, wow. Glad I got to Josh, you would have thought about hit him. record and record that whole thing. That would have been priceless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he that hated me. Man, I didn't tell you. You remember when I started jogging like hmm? a week ago? You remember oh. I couldn't come to the uh, to the boxing gym. <laughs> Oh, so you really did job? Yeah, so okay. I never <laughs> got to tell it. you. I didn't know. It. Yeah, I never got to fucking tell you about me getting attacked by the dog down there. You did tell me the dog chased you. Yeah, because you did go jogging. I yes. remember this. What happened, bro? The dog. Look, people can say whatever they want about sagging. Let me tell you what. If it wasn't for sagging pants, Mom, let it that be dog would have been on my balls for real. That dog jumped and bit in my crotch right here and tried <laughs> to pull my pants. And I had to slap that dog. No, like a pa- no. I backhanded that dog. Was it like a big one? or No. It was a white, like, maybe the size of a corgi. Oh, it, like, like, like a little Jack Russell? Yes. And it, it came running out. Okay. <laughs> look, look. This is how the boxing gym come in your life. Okay. <laughs> this motherfucker came running out at me. And I'm looking at it. I'm side eyeing it because I'm like, all right, it's a little dog. I, you know, I don't think it's gonna do much. First, first time that dog, he charged me, ran up, and you. bit the crotch of my pants, and started shaking. <laughs> so look, I backhand this dog to the ground. Yeah. And then, okay, you know how you got to do the circles in the boxing gym? Yes. So, literally, I started having to do the circles around the dog while it's trying to get to my dick. What kind of shit is this, bro? Look, shout out to J1 for the for circles. Sure the circles, man. Yes. When I tell you that this should come in handy in real life. <laughs> yes. The circles wow. and sagging pants save my dick. Yes. <laughs> I ain't run down so there. The um, I'm, in, I'm envisioning the owner was standing right there now. with two pizzas in her hand. I guess she was coming in the house. And the dog, dog charged out. out. 
And like she was just standing there and eventually she ran up and like blocked the dog off. It was like, go back in the house. And the dog was like, do-do-do-do-do and trot it out. I'm like, the fuck you got these dogs trained to do? You got some damn the dick biters. The, the, the dick biting ass dogs. Yeah. What the fuck is she that? Must be a man hater. Dude, it's oh, right down the street. Shit. But yes, I never got to tell you that story. But there it is. Shout Love out to it. the circles in the gym, man. Oh man, dude, I was I was maneuvering <laughs> around that dog, buddy. In circles, the dog couldn't do nothing. Couldn't catch no dick. So <laughs> no dick. son of a bitch. <laughs> so. Oh my god. Bitch couldn't get no dick. Right, right. <laughs> you ready to do some drawing now? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So look, we got Nay in the building. He's going to do some drawing. I think we're going to take some pictures and do some stuff. Because this cast, dude, we've been out here for two hours and 24 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to have to we're gonna have to shut this one down. All right. Hit the donate button. Yes, please. the donate, please. Free please. hugs. You want to vote? Free hugs. Me? Yep, free hugs. <laughs> Y'all get free hugs. I'm giving fist bumps. Don't yep. come at me. Yeah. So, um, ladies, since I brought us in. Ladies, you hit that donate button. We can go on a date. What's up? <laughs> uh, they're giving look. out hugs. I'm giving out real perks over here. Yeah, hey, right, look, right. and he will. He will take you I'll to go get your feet you. done. We can go which, get our feet done. Make you sure know, that Brandon, it's button. cool. Whatever. Yeah. You and Hedger's done without me. Oh. Well, we can definitely go. I'm off for the next week. Let's go again. I didn't know I gotta work. Was, was You get off at some point. After yeah. the nail salon is closed. No, They're gonna go ching chong ching, get the fuck out. Ling 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 will stick around. Me and Ling Ling got a thing. You, been, you, you get to go now. We got a thing going on. I didn't know Ling Ling could do all that with the, the, that, yeah. that paraffin stuff in the bag and all that. Yeah. Ooh, Lord, that Is that where they put your feet in the. Yeah. Uh, that, that little liquidy stuff. And yeah. it's like a wrap or something like that. Yeah. Ooh, that feels so weird, though. Mulan got some techniques. <laughs> Mulan. <laughs> Why she got to be Mulan, bro? I've, I've, I've always had a thing for Mulan. Yeah. Yeah. Just, that's a bad animated ass character right there. Yeah. Jessica Rabbit and Mulan. Yeah. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Mm. Wonder Woman. Look, look like she, yeah. So look, She's since bad. I brought us in here, since I had to bring it in, and most of the time I lead us out, you're going to have to lead us out this time, bro. Welcome to the mothership, bitches. This has been the SS Who That. This is the, the most livest podcast this side of the Mississippi River. No matter what side of the Mississippi River you happen to be on listening to us. We are the dopest. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all the, all the guests. Uh, thank you to all the listeners and the supporters and everything. Make sure you check back in next week when we will be continuing our observatory mission of the planet Earth. And uh, make sure you hit the, the download button. Subscribe, share, like, love, all of that. Comment. Do everything yes. that you can. To, to let the the world know that there is a dope ass spaceship orbiting right outside Earth's atmosphere, the SS Who That, where we have weed smoke and <laughs> and potato chips. Uh, right. Before you end it, guys, make sure you go and you subscribe to the actual page. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put the link in the uh, in the comments of this. But make sure you go subscribe to the actual podcast. This isn't the actual podcast. This is the behind the scenes. This is the the video cast, you know, make sure you go subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, whatever you prefer to listen on. And uh, that's where it really counts for us. And the donate button. All right, lead us out, Brian. All right. Adios from the mothership, bitches. Peace.